boom. Welcome everybody to Towers and Gods episode 20. We hit 20 episodes, which is pretty cool. Uh, I remember when we hit double digits not that long ago, uh, which is very exciting. As always, I'm joined by the wonderful cast of uh, people playing these characters. We have Sun Wu as Wu. Yo, let's go. Let's we have Other Joe as Damien. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we have uh, Milios as Brack. I still want a chipmunk. <laughs> we have <laughs> Isaiah as Jog. Ohio. And we have Hannah as Eden. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. We are uh, we're on time. We're here. We're ready to do some house linguist stuff, which is very exciting. Uh, if you're new here, you're wondering what the heck this is all about. It's Tower of God plus Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, you can join us for this stream, or if you want to go back and watch the previous episodes or both, uh, you can definitely do so. All the videos are available here on the channel. Um, a couple things I want to say. One thing, let me pop open my document here. Discord. Discord server is down below. But I do want to make a quick statement here. I've been talking with my mods, and I do want to say that if you do join the server, make sure you read the rules beforehand because uh, th there have been some problems lately uh, with people who are recently joining. So if you're joining, please read the rules. Uh, the server has different rules than this series, for example. Uh, so make sure you differentiate the two. Uh, but we would love to have you if you do so. Uh, but just remember, you know, nothing... Uh, nothing that would break the rules of the server. Uh, no roleplay or anything like that. The server is there, it's PG, it's there for us to have fun, and uh, just keep that in mind if you do want to join. But we'd love to see your memes, we'd love to see your fan art, and we always feature them during the break. Uh, but that's actually the main thing I wanted to say. Aside from that, oh, thank you all because we hit, we passed 250 likes. We crushed that goal, hey. so I want to thank you. Let's see if we can do it again, 250. But aside from that, how is it going, cast members? How are you feeling going into this episode? I am very interested to see who this mysterious person from Damien's past is. <laughs> yeah, if we don't start with that, I'm gonna be upset. Well, you know, they, I, I think they got us pretty good in the first three quarters, um, but I think in the fourth quarter, I think we're gonna get them really good. We're gonna hit them really hard. We're gonna go through their defense, and uh, yeah. yeah, we'll hopefully uh, win the game. True, true. <laughs> All right, Addison all right, the first all right. Half, I sure, sure. Addison um, the first half. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to meet the lady of the house? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I'm doing homework while watching. Well, you know what? Hopefully we can provide you with some entertainment. Um, oh, wait, I have some. I, I, I do have some. Okay. Can you please share the message from Lady Lake with the rest of the people? Because I'm tired of this slam. <laughs> Like, can, can we just can we just get this out the way? Like, I, I'm not lying. Here's the mud. Take my name out of the mud. All right. Leave me alone. There, there were a lot of memes making fun of you this week, son. Uh, fun of me. oh, just man. just yeah. just share the message Wait, with the people the so they know. Like, that's not my job. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Like, share the screenshot? Like, what do I do? I mean, right. you got pics. What's happening here? <laughs> if you want to share the pocket message Lady Lake with everyone picture? else. You can Ooh. do so. That is your decision. I don't have time for that, bro. There's too much going on. <laughs> Whatever. I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so this is why you're looking fly today. You knew you were going to drop the Lady Lake bomb. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, but... Uh, the Lady of the Lake. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. Let's just... Let's just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's good for him. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how the memes look, because there's a lot of memes about that this week. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go ahead and start then. So, you all, as a quick little recap, you you just arrived on the 20th floor, and you've been exploring the islands. You met some singing chipmunks, which was pretty interesting. Uh, it didn't take you long to find uh, Muji, the city of kindness. And eventually, you met a boy named Sil Young, who seems to have this gift of reading things about you. Uh, it's very mysterious and unclear, but there's obviously some sort of special nature about this kid. And one thing leads to another. Uh, Wu, you end up challenging the House Lindquist champion, 
uh, to a duel. You end up brutally murdering him and earning a rainbow ticket to take the House Lindquist special test. You became the champion. And uh, afterward, Victor ended up causing some- Look at me, look at me. Some... I am the champion. <laughs> <laughs> you are the champion now yes you are uh one thing led to another victor ended up causing some trouble he ended up rescuing so young from house lindquist himself and you ended up having uh so young join your team uh so that he wouldn't become uh be arrested by them i believe the uh, correct phrasing is we voted and some of us were outvoted i think it was um, a unanimous decision i don't I remember right? Pretty sure. decisions being made in that. It's funny. Yeah, no one said the democratic yeah. decisions had to democracy, be made. Democracy, man. Democracy. Man, democracy well, looking overrated. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> was it jog? Hold on. Never mind. Uh, so, <laughs> so when you're on your way to House Lindquist, you also met a familiar face with Laura, uh, who also ended up joining your team so that you now have the 10 members needed for this test. You entered the mansion, this vast mansion, and you had just entered this vast room where at the far end, Lord Signe herself rests in all her glory. And that is where we're going to pick up. Let me go ahead and play some music here. Uh, buh, buh, buh. What is this one? Now, Lord Signe in her long red dress and rings all over her fingers, feathers in her hair and just adorned like a queen is sitting in what appears to be a golden throne. It, by the looks of this room, it almost looks like you're in a castle and not a mansion. Uh, and I, that's sort of a vibe you've been getting with the mansion in general. It seems to be some kind of mansion castle hybrid. And she's sitting in her throne and to her right you see a man, uh, kind of chubby, balding, uh, wearing a some nice uh, robes, and he's sitting there uh, looking a little bit timid as you're walking in. But then to her left, you see a young woman standing there, uh, seemingly just waiting for you all to enter the room. And Lord Signe beckons you all to come forward. But uh, Damien, you know this person, the person to her left, to Lord Signe's left. It's a person that caused you pain in your past. And when you see her, your blood starts to boil a little bit. And we have art for this person. I'll pull it up. <gasps> oh! Ooh. All right, she could dress. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Lord Signe beckons you all to come forward. We go forwards. <laughs> All of yes. <laughs> Brock stumbling in, moving, moving behind the crew, just looking around at the big castle mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. big manor. <laughs> sure, sure. Looking around the room for sure. It's a huge room with uh, pillars and and you know like stained glass and all kinds of stuff. You all walk forward. Enough. Sorry. Yeah, I have enough composure to do as they say, but I have my head down. Okay, okay. I'm hoping not to be recognized. Got you. Eden notices Damien's kind of like stature and kind of like slides to the other side of Victor and kind of gets in front of Damien. Sure, sure. Help cover him up. Okay. So you all walk forward then. And Lord Signe... She has her hand to her chin and is just staring at all of you. Welcome. Welcome to my mansion, champions. And she smiles. Who among you is the one who defeated Goliath? Oh, Lord Signa, that would be me. Ooh, the pleasure. It is a pleasure indeed. Goliath had been our champion for five years. The fact that you were able to so deftly defeat our champion. Well, let's just say you more than deserve the title of our new champion. Well, if I may be so bold, someone such as yourself needs better help. Oh. She smiles at you. 
I'm sure you all have many questions, but first, please allow me to introduce my husband, Lord Heminin, and she motions to her right, Heminin the, and she pauses, second, and she looks back at all of you, <clears throat> and he kind of clears his throat, it is good to meet all of you, <clears throat> he clears his throat again, and we happen to have a special visitor, this is Lady Jan Miller. Uh, hello. Good, good to meet you. And you notice she seems a little uncomfortable, just kind of out of place, not being a member of the family. Lady Miller is here, representing the Jan family, as we diplomatically exchange words. But it is highly possible that she will be staying with us for a few days, and therefore may witness the test you are about to undergo. Now, I am excited to discuss these matters with you all, and so, do any of you have any questions pertaining to the test? What is it? What is the test? <laughs> she smiles. Well, that is a surprise, my dear. What is your name? Eden. Eden. A very pretty name. You will all find out what the test is in two days. But until then, you are more than welcome in our mansion to freely explore. You are our guests. You will all be given rooms to stay in until that time has passed. It's good to me. Uh. <clears throat> uh, my lord. Um, I have a question. Why weren't you able to remember, like, your husband's, um, um, lineage, you know? You kind of stumbled up a little bit when you called him the second. Like, are you planning on getting rid of him? Because Man, you are to have Man. someone that you can... Man. I, I kind of just kind of grab him. Shut up. Band it off quick. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm setting you up. Don't worry, I'm lobbing it in the air. Just be there to catch. No! You're misreading the situation, Breck. Not now! Later! Later! Okay, got it, got it, got it. Scratch everything I said, my lord. <laughs> my She's apologies. Swearing at you. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this buffoon? I'm no buffoon, I'm Brack. <laughs> She looks over at her butler, the man with the mustache and the graying hair, and he kind of just looks over at you, Brack, <clears throat> and he slowly walks up to you. Oh, sir, please do not address Lord Signe in that manner again. Yeah, you're on your way out, right? And I just wink at him and uh, just go back to just looking around the manor. Does anyone else have any real questions to ask? I'm sure you are all very unsure of what is about to take place. But if you have questions about the mansion itself, I would be more than happy to assist before we end our meeting. I'd shoot a quick glance at Siliong if kind of like tug at his uh, sleeve a little bit and see if he wants to say anything, but I don't push it. When you tug at Sil Young, he's just looking down, just his head down, and you can tell okay. that he's very tense and is not saying anything. All right, mm -hmm. I'll leave it. At, just give him a quick squeeze and my leave it at. my, if it isn't Young Gray, and she smiles at Sil Young, and when, he, when she says that, he stiffens up. Oh. It has been years, Gray. I'm sorry, Sil Young. Is not what you go by, correct? He doesn't say anything. We would love to welcome you back into our family, Gray, Siljan. All you need to do is leave this group and become one of us again. But I'm sure you would like to spend some more time with your newfound friends. And he's just, you can see him shaking a little bit, his hands. 
Um, um and Leaf speaks Kylo. Kylo. Oh, oh. Okay, go ahead. If I may ask, is So Young a m member of House Lindquist? And there's some silence. And then Signe says, in a sense, anyone who spends time in our mansion is considered family. <laughs> All part of the family now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna shout with an elbow, <clears throat> but I stopped myself. At this time, I would like you to meet my children. My dear, wonderful children. The future of the Lindquist family. And then she claps, children. And you notice that to her left, to your right, is a lavish door that opens up as if waiting for her command. And a familiar face walks out as you see Leif Lindquist in all of his gear, his sword at his side, walking forward step by step, head held high, and he stands in front of his mother. This is my son, Leif Lindquist. I do hear that you've been acquainted. Leif has become quite a name on the 20th floor. He's known as the hero of Muji, the hero of kindness. He truly is the pride of our family. And he's got this big smile on his face as he's looking at you all. It's good to see you all again. Likewise. Brack pretends to like raise his hand to answer the question, and then he just drops it and looks off to the side. Okay. And then with that, Leaf steps a little bit away taking a place next to his mother. And now I would like you to meet my beautiful daughter, Astrid, and she claps her hands. And at this point, a young lady walks into the room. We do have art for this character. She walks oh, into the oh. room. Hey, Joseph, uh, explain yourself. <laughs> what, what, is, what exactly what are you is doing, you to? bro? What, where do you, hey, yo, where lollipop chainsaw? Like, My whoa. Dad. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, go, go ahead. I can't say the exact person who I'm thinking of right now. Man, but... He really had us in the first half. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's wild. That's wild. It's okay though. I that can re I can refocus immediately. <laughs> yeah, damn. Like, okay, never mind. Um, so this this woman walks into the room and with every movement she makes every step she takes you can tell that she she just has this aura about her where she's either it's hard to tell if she's if she just thinks she's really charming or if she really is that charming but she has so much confidence and she she's looks charming. over at all of you and she gives you all a stare and a smile and she says mother i didn't you didn't tell me that such handsome boys were going to be here and then she Brock. gives you, yo yeah, head. I was gonna say Brock yells out loud. It smells like lilacs and gooseberries in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> um, and when she says that, and she she finishes that sentence, she looks at you, Jong, and you can tell she's looking at you a bit longer and she gives you a wink, like a really slow wink. Jong immediately shudders and looks away from her. <laughs> and then, I turn to Jong, uh, don't be a fool. <laughs> <laughs> and then Lord Cena continues, Astrid, not only is a wonderful fighter, a skilled marksman, a markswoman, she also has been learning the art of diplomacy and becoming fast friends with Lady Milla. Isn't that Yeah, I bet. And she turns to Milla. Uh, yeah, of course. And she smiles and nods, but Astrid isn't even looking at her. She's just looking at all of you, especially the boys. And then she walks off to join Leaf. And of course, it wouldn't be the same unless you met my youngest son, Bo. Bo! She claps her hands. Bo. And then she looks over. The door is still open, but no one leaves. 
And then Leaf speaks up, I'm sorry, Mother. Bo is most likely playing with his toys in his room. You know how he is. And he smiles. Oh, I do swear that child is so obsessed with his toys. <laughs> well, no matter. You'll meet him tomorrow at the banquet, I'm sure. There's a banquet? Banquet. Tomorrow evening. It wouldn't be right if we didn't start this test unless you got to know the whole family. And she smiles. Exactly what time is the banquet? You said the <laughs> evening, but uh, I, I need specifics. You know, when food is involved, we like to be punctual. <laughs> you said your name was Brack. She says that as if it's like such a foreign sound, correct? Yes, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, Brack? I am from everywhere and nowhere. Actually, what I mean is I'm from the middle tower. Nice to meet you. Oh, the middle area. And she says it as if she's kind of grossed out. Hmm. The banquet will be at 6 p.m. tomorrow evening. Please, don't miss it. We would be more than happy to share all that we have with you. A lavish feast, of course, followed by a ballroom dance. What kind of drink? <laughs> all kinds of drinks, all kinds of foods and desserts. Heard you got some, some very nice wine in your cellars here. Would be okay if we sample some tonight? Of course. We'll be breaking open one of our oldest casks. The finest wines. I like it here. <laughs> you there. You with the purple hair, she says to Damien. I look up. You haven't said anything. What is your name? No one. Child, I must know your name. You can tell that she's quickly kind of getting a little agitated. His <clears throat> name's Eric. Yep, my best bud, Eric. Part of our team for a while now. Eric, why don't why didn't you just introduce yourself sooner, <clears throat> says Victor? You guys just had to call me Eric. <laughs> <laughs> you started this, okay? I'm trying to brood here. <laughs> find your center, find your center. Eric. And she kind of looks at you for a long second. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Damien, what are you doing at this time? Are you still looking down? I'm looking straight at Yeon Mila. Well, you've noticed that now she's looking at you and she has this look on her face. Just kind of a puzzled expression, a slight puzzled expression. But then she turns back towards Lord Signe when she begins to speak again. The rest of you, I would like to know your names as well. You, the coon with the... the sword. What is your name? The name's Zhang. Zhang Sei. Kun Zhang Sei. Any member of the Ten Families is more than welcome in our halls. The same goes for you. And Victor takes a bow. My name is Victor, my lord. Pleasure to meet Kiss you. Ass. And the one with the unruly hair, she says to Shion. Uh, Shion. And Signa kind of just looks at her a long second, giving her, a, giving her a similar look that she gave to Brack. And then she turns to Leaf. Um, my name is Leaf. And she kind of does a little curtsy, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> a pleasure to meet you. Now, I believe that is enough for today. We'll see each other at the banquet, I'm sure. But until then, please know that four rooms have been prepared for you. A room in the southern wing, a room in the western wing, 
A room in the northern wing and a room in the eastern wing. We do hope that it suits your needs. Uh, my, my lord, if I may. Speak out, Wouldn't, wouldn't uh, the champion warrant some sort of uh, separate accommodation to uh, rest his weary muscles after besting what you claim was your best? <laughs> How you, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> how you decide to sleep in these four rooms we have prepared for you is entirely up to you, champion. Man, it's hot in this throne room. <laughs> Shit. Dang it, Isaiah. <laughs> As you see fit, my lord. Now. I'm afraid I have other duties to attend to. You may now leave my presence. Thank God. And uh, Victor kind of starts to get up and she on, uh, they st- or not get up, but they start to turn and uh, leave the room. And the butler uh, leads the way and motions you all out of and this a, throne room. And I turn and stare at Leaf, smile. Uh-huh. <laughs> he looks at you and he has that a similar grin to the grin he had the previous night as he looks at you smiling at him and uh jong you can't help but notice that as you leave astrid blows you a kiss jong again turns on a dime and makes for the exit (laughs) okay you leave the throne room, entering back into the what, what you assume is the main hall. This vast, wide room with uh, the stairs that lead up to the balcony. And at this point, the butler turns and he bows. My name is Terran. I will be at your assistance whenever you need me. The northern wing, any motions, all of the wings are on the upper floor. You may head up the balcony using these stairs and head north, south, east, or west towards your accommodations. Please keep in mind that while you are free to explore the mansion, you are not free to explore the restricted areas. But you need not worry, because the restricted areas will be off limits regardless. Any questions? Uh, Lady Signe said there's going to be a banquet and a ball tomorrow night. Uh, Are we supposed to be prepared with clothing and attire that would be your, befitting of such a thing your attire will be provided to you by the time oh the banquet <laughs> i'm acting bro <laughs> <laughs> i just see the rolling the eyes uh you you will receive that attire ahead of time right uh, Eris, was it Terran. champion Terran. Terran. sorry 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 um so, uh, can a man get a bath around here? And maybe bring some of that wine through while I'm taking it. You will have a private bath in your room. What prepared for me, Terran? What do you mean? <laughs> he claps his hands and two maids appear out of the one of the side entrances. Oh no. Please prepare a bath in each of the bedrooms. And they curtsy and then uh, leave the room. Appreciate you, sir. Of course. Anything for the champions. Anything for the champions? Indeed. Can uh can you buy guys bring me some bean bap? Uh two 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 big hearty plates of mutton. And um I've been meaning to try this delicacy. It's called the uh the crystal snake. I I I've been wanting to try that and I know you guys have it. The the, the bring me three plates of that. Yes, bring me three, three plates of that. You may find me here in the main hall. When you do, after you have chosen your accommodations, we will provide you with your meal. But, but food first. We do not know where you are going to stay, sir. I, I can, I'd be happy to go towards the dining hall. That, that, is that available? The dining hall is currently restricted. You guys and your goddamn going rules. Okay, fine. Please go and find your rooms. Okay, and, buddy, uh, we'll go. We'll go hunt some snakes after this. <laughs> That's all you, buddy. That's all you. <laughs> Shion just sighs, 
guess we should find our rooms. And Laura, Laura says, hmm, I never got to introduce myself. Oh, well, maybe tomorrow I'll talk with the Lord. Trust me, Laura, she doesn't actually care who you are. She doesn't actually care who any of us are, except for maybe Wu. No, no. Laura, what's your interest in the Lord? I have a habit of wanting to meet interesting people, especially if they're a part of history. And Lord Signe is a very famous individual. I'd like mm. to simply understand her philosophy in running uh, this island and much of her property on the 20th floor. I'd like to understand her better myself. Maybe you and I should have a talk later. I'd be more than happy to. Sounds good. But first, my bath. All right. So as you walk up the balcony, you realize, yes, there are four directions you can go. North, south, east, and west. I'm going Isn't west. It? Wait, so what, what so way is, is this? the way back? <laughs> so you walk up the balcony, and the balcony kind of like encircles the main hall. And oh, so see. on the eastern side, there's a door, southern, northern, and western. Do they all lead to individual rooms, or are there just four rooms that, like, amongst the ten of us, we There's are... one room in each wing prepared for you. Oh. Uh. I'm going west, bro. Who's going west? I'll... I'm going straight take... for the bath. I'm not negotiating with <laughs> you. guys can figure out what <laughs> the rooms are. I'm gonna go right. north. Brax going north? Uh, I'm gonna go east. East for Jong. I'll set up shop east. Uh, right. I'd like to change my answer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> John's like, I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Uh, Eden? I guess I'll go south. All right. Victor joins you, Eden. Okay. Laura joins you, Wu, along with Leaf. Uh, Shion joins Jong and Damien. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, seven. And then... Uh, Sil Young goes with you, Brack. He says, uh, excuse me, Brack. Yes? If you don't mind, would you, I please, would you allow me to walk with you? That's fine. Just don't touch my food. Why would mm -hmm. I do such a thing? I, I don't know. You you used to live here according to your mom, so... um. She is not my mother. Brack. 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 Hmm? That's not his mother. And just take good care of Sil Young and watch your manners, okay? I will. I will take as good a care of him as I did the luggage. And Let's I, go, I, so I, 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 think, I think I think Brack needs to take your uh, <laughs> your sensitivity and empathy course. <laughs> you sign him up. I like I like grab Brack by his shoulder because he's so tall and I am not that tall and I'm like try to whisper in his ear and I'm like protect him. Protector oh. Brack in the building. Let's oh. go, sir. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And he smiles Absolutely. as he walks up with Brack. You can count on Brack. Oh, I don't know about that, but okay. I can't wait to get out of this place. Okay. So we're gonna cut to Wu, Laura, and Leaf, who are heading west. So as you head, you pass a bunch of hallways, a bunch of other random rooms, but I'm assuming you just wanna continue on to your room, right, for now? I'm kind of skipping. Yeah, you're skipping. Now me to the bath. <laughs> oh, you mean literally, okay. <laughs> okay, got you. Understandable. Uh, so they're kind of following behind. The, the main thing you notice about the western wing is that there seems to be, when you enter, you walk down this hallway, and then it expands into this very big open area where there's, like, a couple pillars holding up the rooms, and there's various other... or holding up the ceiling. There's various rooms. Uh, but when you continue to walk to the back, there's one more hallway, and then you reach a door. And above it, it says, Western Bedroom. This place is huge. <laughs> and then I try to open the door. Wait, hold on. And Laura says, what are those? And you... I'm sorry, you notice that, that the door itself doesn't have any handles. 
It's a big arched door. It's beautifully decorated with like vines and all kinds of like, you know, little flames and stuff. But there's no handle. But upon closer inspection, you see symbols etched into the door. And you can look on my screen and you'll see. Oh. <clears throat> That looks nice. Sun and what? Western room. Like a like a wave. Fire. Wave. Or, or snail. <laughs> Two of the four elements. <laughs> <That's Avatar. laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, went away when the fire nation. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Leaf says. What do you uh, guys make of this? How, how are we supposed to get in? Mm. I don't know. Oh it's can it's I can I can I roll investigation and see if I know anything? Yes. Jong is with Damien in another riddle situation. Is that what you're worried about? <laughs> I said if this is another riddle situation. <laughs> <Deja vu. laughs> I got a twelve. You're not able to make much. Just that uh, these are etched into the wall, and there's no handles on the door. But you know this is the bedroom. Mm-hmm. I mean, it has to do with these symbols, I'm sure, but I can't make out what they mean. Yeah. And Laura says, this is kind of fun. Almost like we're solving a mystery. Yeah, and I think I might have the answer if I knew how to actually solve it. Hmm. We're going to cut to the people going blah, 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 east. So Jong, Damien, and Shion. As you're walking through the eastern wing, it's a bit different. Uh, you wouldn't know because you haven't gone through the western wing, but you're walking through and this wing has so many hallways. Like you're constantly going right and then left and then right. It's very confusing, but after a lot of, you know, circles and going back and forth, you finally reach what says eastern bedroom. But when you approach the door, uh, there's no handle. You see a bunch of amazing carvings. And etched into the door, you see these symbols. Shion says, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, why put a door handle here when you can just put a riddle? That makes sense. Hmm. Goldfish, raccoon, spade. One of the f three of the four elements. <laughs> Damien, that's a squirrel. <laughs> oh, it's a squirrel. Oh, I guess that. Yeah, okay. Shion says, don't tell me the singing chipmunks actually mattered. I hate this place so much. I hate this place so much. You hate everywhere. <laughs> Do you guys consider that this might be part of the test? I mean, don't probably. But Lord Signe, screw it, Signe said that two days is when the test would start. If I know one thing about these types, Shion, it's to not trust a single word out of their mouth. If she said the test is in two days, she's probably already testing all of us right now. You have a point. Okay, we're gonna cut to the people going north, so Brack and Siliung. And as you are heading north, the northern wing is very simple. You walk a little bit and then you eventually reach this huge open, what appears to be a ballroom. It's super wide, the ceiling is immensely tall, and, you know, it's it, you're it's very, you know, wonderful looking. And then <clears throat> Sil Young says, this is the ballroom. He's just staring straight ahead. This is the ballroom. Ah. Uh, so, you, you've been in this place before. Uh, what am I talking about? They said that you've been here before, but... Do you know where our room is in this area? My guess is that we continue to walk and we'll reach it. Okay. Um. Forward. Mm -hmm. Question for you, though, uh, little one. Um, why are you so afraid of little old Signe? Lord Signe? Yeah, yeah, my lord. Yeah. Why, why are you afraid of her? Because we shouldn't talk here. They could be listening. They could be listening to us once we get into our room, too. We're in an open area, though. I 
I would feel more comfortable if we were by ourselves. Got it. Well, let's go ahead and go to the room. I'm hungry anyway. Okay, you continue to walk, and eventually, you go down one more hallway, and you reach Northern Bedroom. And etched into this door are these symbols. <laughs> oh, how they left a riddle for the clueless. <laughs> Let's see. Would you happen to understand the riddles here, Sil Young? There's a riddle? Yes. It's a fish, a spade, a closed eye, and what looks to be either a wave or that delicious crystal bane. Mm. It looks like both. He starts feeling it. It definitely appears to be a wave. I don't understand. Why aren't they letting us into our rooms? It's probably because of me. Maybe they thought we deserve to be tested because you brought me onto the team. Ah, don't worry about all of that. If they try to do anything strange, we'll just wreck the place and run away. They can't catch no, us all. They can. You don't understand. They will find you. They have much influence. Who do they think they are? Bindaro Zod? No, they'll never catch us. And then we're going to cut to the people going south. Which I believe um, is just Eden and Victor. Okay. So you're heading south, and the southern wing is also kind of complicated. You're walking down, and eventually you hit a stairwell, and it takes you up into another small room. And in this room is four different stairwells, including the one you just came out of. And they're all going down. And Victor says, are you kidding me? They couldn't have made this any harder. I, you know, you'd think they'd just give us one of the rooms by the opening yeah. of the hallway. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh my... Ugh. Wait a minute. You don't think they're strategically splitting us up for a reason, do you? They probably are. But... Maybe we should go back. Hmm... Yeah. And just all stay in the same room. Does your pocket work? Can we give them a call? Uh, try. I'll pull it up. Who do you want to call? I figured out the riddle. <laughs> I'm trying to solve it. Big brain move. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll call uh, Zhang. Zhang, you start receiving a call from Eden. Zhang pulls out his pocket and opens the call. Yeah? Was Hey, was your room difficult to get to? To get to, no, but to get in, yes. What do you mean? Well, there's these three symbols that are in front of the door, and there's no actual way to get into the door, at least not easily. Oh, uh, yeah, because we haven't gotten to ours yet. We, we've been walking down hallways and upstairs, and now we're we found more stairs and we still haven't gotten to our room yet and I'm kind of concerned that they're trying to tactically split us all up and I'm wondering if we should all meet back in the center area by the balcony and we all stay in the same room whichever is the easiest to get to well I definitely agree they're trying to split us up but I actually think we should play along I call Why? them I think okay. you, you start receiving a group call from Wu we'll add them to the call all right. You guys have weird symbols in front of your doors too, because I'm trying to take a bath. <laughs> well, Vic Victor and I yeah, haven't we do. Even gotten to ours yet, but I'm assuming, considering you have symbols and Zhang has symbols, that that's how many take. symbols in front of your door, Eden? We haven't gotten there yet. Hmm. We're still walking. Zhang, symbols. There's three. What are they? Uh, I oh, don't oh, remember. Sorry, sorry. Oh, uh, thank you. There we go. There's what's fish, spade, uh, chipmunk. Fish, spade, <laughs> chipmunk. <laughs> is that Zhang Is Zhang laughing? <laughs> Just kidding. That was totally above the table. <laughs> oh my god. Goldfish, spade, raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about the other group with Brack and Silio? Have you talked to them? 
No, not yet. Uh, Brack's not great with his pocket, but I'll try and add him to the call, and I'll add Brack to the okay. call. <laughs> Brack, you start receiving a call from Eden. Group call. <laughs> so, as he hears the phone, <laughs> hmm? uh, who is this? And if you're selling anything, I don't want it. Brack, it's Eden, Victor, or it's... Blech. It's Eden, Wu, and Zhang, and we're trying to ascertain the door situation. Oh. In the I meantime, was... Victor and I will keep walking, trying to find our door. Okay. Victor takes you down the middle stair, the one that was straight ahead from when you came okay. up. Okay. Wait, Brack, are there symbols in front of your door, too? Yes, there are four symbols. What are a, they? A goldfish a spade, a uh, closed eye, and a crashing wave. All four elements. <laughs> Damien, could you stop talking for a second? <laughs> Good old Brack here with his old noodly bit. I was thinking that they were trying to ask me to play goldfish, but that wasn't the case. I think I have an idea of what these symbols might mean and what we need to do, but I gotta figure out what's in the south corridor first. Are they like buttons? Can I investigate that? I was thinking that they could be card card game names. No, I'm pretty sure that nothing will happen unless the correct people are in front of the correct door. Ah, oh, gotcha. So you think we're supposed to be in specific rooms? Exactly. But didn't you say that they're overlapping symbols? How would that work? Just tell me the sun. The sun. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to find it, Woo. There's like 1,500 oh, staircases. Okay, yeah, okay. Here. And you, you walk forward and you do manage to find the room after going down the stairs and walking forward down another hallway. Okay. okay. Well, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, my God. Uh, here, pass me a pocket, Eden. Yeah, here Okay, you go. we've got a fish. Uh, a Eden, what's sun? That? A sun, an eye, and a wave. So we have three fish. Ah, should have taken pictures of all of these. The northern room. Yeah, yeah hold on. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's the western north. room. All right, eastern room. Right. Southern room. Okay. I don't know if my theory is correct anymore, but I still think everybody needs to be in a in the proper position. I think that the symbols have to do with our positions. Our positions? How so? So like spades for spear bearers? Fish for fishermen. Wave, wave, wave for wave, wave controller. controller. Eye for scout. I think the raccoon, or whatever you called it, was just to indicate... Animal. Lighthouse bear. No, that would be... No, nice. Damien. <laughs> that, that would well, be... Hold, on. <laughs> hold on, because like a scout passes information to a light bearer for him to discern. So the, the, an, the Shinwei or the animal could be for a light bearer. I think the sun is for light bearer. There's two. Do we have two? We got Damien. I know Laura's a scout. I don't know if Cillian has a position. Uh, hey, Brack. Brack. Ask... Yeah. Uh, Victor and I had the same thought. <laughs> yeah. hey, uh, <clears throat> go ahead, Eden. Uh, Brack, can you ask Cillian what his position is? So, Young, did you hear what they asked? They would like to know your position. My position? Well, oh, are you not? A, oh. I do not fight. I think combat is abhorrent. However, I am a wave controller. Wave controller, okay. So if this theory is right, that means only a certain number of us are supposed to be in certain rooms. But the positions don't all line up, mm -mm. if I'm calculating it correctly. So I still Imagine. think it has to do with a certain number of people in a certain number of rooms, but I don't know what they mean then. Can I just put my hand on the southern door? The southern door? Mm-hmm. Nothing happens. Okay. Well, as an anima, then, I would be able to... I 
I should be able to open the door in front of me, yes? If I touch uh, that, if I touch the raccoon symbol? I touch should... the symbol, but nothing happens. All right, now I start chopping the symbol. <laughs> Wait, with your scissors? <laughs> no, with my hand. <laughs> oh, like you're just striking it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nothing happens. All right, now I now I beg. It, aren't, aren't, wait, wait, aren't two of the eye symbols different? Uh, can, I think they're the same. Nah, they're, they're you the same. You send pictures to each other, and no, yeah, I think the eyes are the same. 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 Yeah. Hmm. I try to touch the northern door. Brack tries to touch the northern door to see if any change will happen. He tries to convince Sil Young to do the same. Nothing happens when either of you touch it. Okay. Can I go for insight instead of investigation? I'm just trying sure. to see if I get a hint from you, bro. Mm -hmm. Cause this is tough. Yeah. That is an 18 plus four. Okay. Woo, the longer you look at this door and the longer you start to take in these symbols and what they could possibly mean, Despite the fact that nothing is, like, actually happening, you feel like you're definitely on the right track. Like, with my inquiry earlier? Yes. I don't know. I think, I think I'm think i right. I just don't know how it works exactly. Well, we should you know, probably start with hey. getting the correct number of people in front of whatever door has the, the correct mm. number of symbols. Let's, let's all well, I was actually just going to sit and... Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, it's fine. I was I just... actually going to say... Eden, go ahead. Victor, go ahead. Well, before Jong started speaking, I was Oh, well, say... one of you just talk already. I was going to make the same suggestion. But maybe first we should all meet back up. Does that sound good, Jong? Uh, guys, let's just... Let's just... Look. Make sure to take a picture of the uh, the symbol in front of your door, and let's meet up at the middle again. All right, I'll see you guys there. Jong hangs up the pocket. All right, you all make your way back to the center hallway, not running into anyone on your way. In fact, that's something you noticed: is that this mansion seems eerily empty. No maids, no soldiers, eerily empty. But you make your way back to the main hall. And for the first time, you see a person, you see Terran, standing outside of the uh, throne room. Aaron, my man, where's my wine? Your wine. That will be provided to you at the banquet, but if you wish for wine in your room, first you must needs acquire your room. Oh. So, uh, there's no key then, I take it. He doesn't say anything to that. Oh, just, now you're all that, silent. Does, does he let me pat him on the shoulder? Thing. Yes. I just pat him on the shoulder. All right, let's 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 look over the, the evidence one more time. See if we, we can't come up with something. To test the theory, why don't we go to the fir to the west room? Because it, it has only two symbols. And if we have all ten of us there, we can try different combinations and maybe ascertain at least uh... two of the symbols. Yeah, sure. It's a little, it's a long path down, but it's quick. We can go. We're all going there? All ten of us? I think that's the best idea to at least knock out two of the symbols. No, why don't we only send the two people that could unlock the door and the, the other eight stay here and we call uh, the pocket? I see what Eden's saying because we don't know what the symbol, I, I mean, I have my theory, but I don't know if it's right or not, and this is the quickest way to test it. If everyone's there, we can rotate people and figure out what works versus what doesn't. Well, it looks like I'll be going to the Western room, and if anyone else, who should we send with me? Just to test this theory. Well, I think we should all go, but I mean, I, if what Wu's saying is true, then it should just be Damien and one of our wave controllers. We have three. We're not saving any time either way. We can just all go. It's not that hard. That's if you true. think, unless you think that by us entering the passageway, we're already making the door unable to open by all ten of us being there. 
That's exactly what I think. I think this test is designed to split us up in any way that we try to stay more grouped than necessary is going to make this more difficult. If you're right, though, we got to make sure that the pairings that we make are the most advantageous for us. That's true, right. says Shion. We got to be careful with how we handle this. We shouldn't rush it. Okay. okay, so then we need to match these symbols. So the Western Room is a light bearer and a wave controller, correct? Correct. Okay, what wave controllers are in this group besides me? Siliong uh, and Leaf. And light bearers? Just Damien, which makes sense because there's only one sun symbol on all of the doors. Okay. There's, there's, well, we, we don't no. have another, there's two sun symbols. Yeah, yeah there's, there's one, one in the one southern one. door. We don't oh, have another yeah. light bearer. So that's so what that doesn't make sense. Theory. So then we can't use oh. the southern door. We uh, well, there's more symbols than there are people, right? So I guess we just right. have to abandon that door and then. Maybe. All right. Well then, hmm. I guess we have to test the theory of if the anima is correct, and if that's the case, then Damien can go into two positions, and we can decide what's best there. But then well, that closes off more doors then. We can just see if it works, yeah. and then just make the final decision. But yeah. No, either way, no, Eden's right. Either way, Damien would have to take the, the light bearer role, regardless. Right. Because so you're I'm an gonna... anima woo. Yeah, I have to go through that door, I think, if we're going to make this work for everybody to go through a door. Okay. So then it would be best to go towards the southern door than it would be to go towards the western door, because we don't know if it has a one... Uh, an assigned room policy. So if you use that door, you're permanently locked to it. You're right, actually. Okay, what's okay. the... Uh, above the table, can you, <laughs> yeah. can you show me the room with the, the, the squirrel on it? Or whatever? Uh, yes. Eastern room. Uh, so it's Spear Bear Fisherman. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's what we're dealing with there. Um, I think that's the only way I can go. We have two scout rooms. How many people we got? One, two. We have 10. We have 10. Yeah, but like, this is. Wait a minute, Laura. What's your position? She's a scout as well. I'm a scout. Okay. It would be. Ooh, so if yeah. scouts are eyes, right? Is that what you're thinking, Moo? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Because it gets even worse. Um. Yeah, I guess that does mean Wu's only option is Eastern. Or. But, uh, for us to get, because we have to abandon Southern, right? Is that the one? Yeah. Yeah, so. Or we do Southern and abandon Western. We don't need Western. Yeah, we can't do Southern and Western. Like, yeah. yeah, so we, we just pick one. one, which is more advantageous. Southern, I would imagine I Southern, just Southern just cause it, yeah, because it puts more people in. I room. think Southern is where we put Damien for sure. And then we just build around that. Okay, so we need Damien, a fisherman, a scout, go back to Southern. A uh, light, scout a, and a wave controller. Yeah, fisherman, scout, and wave controller. See who wants to go there. At so this point, be... Leaf asks you, Damien, for a notebook, and she's like writing all this down. Okay, teams. So it could be uh, Brack, Damien, So Young, and uh, Jung. No. So you, no. Me and Seo Young are both wave controllers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Laura, yeah. So Laura, yeah. Laura and I are the scout. only scouts. Laura and yeah, I are Laura. So, yeah, I would take Laura because Wu has to go to Eastern. Yeah, Laura. I was oh, there. Brack, I lost what's the, Northern. What's, what's the Northern? No, because what's the Northern? Northern yeah, yeah, is, northern? Northern northern is, is fish, fish, spade, eye, and wave. No, I think, I'm, I think I go for the other scout room instead of yeah. going for that. Oh, really? So yeah. we don't do East, or what was it, Eastern? I think, I mean, hold on. No, but then we, yeah, we won't be able to do, no, we have to do Eastern. You're right. We have to do Eastern. I don't know how we fill yeah. off this whole thing. Because it's either 882 or 3, 4, there's no 3. I think, so I think we have to ascertain which two out of these four rooms are like the necessities, the ones that have to be used. I think Eastern is one of them. And maybe Southern? Brock I would think, like okay. to... I no. If we look at the number of rooms, right, versus the amount of people, we literally there's four. There's three fours, or there, there's 
one three, three four, yeah. two fours, and one two, right? Mm -hmm. It either has to be two four four, or that's it. Like, there's really no other way around it. Yeah. But the yeah. problem with that is, is there's two suns. So, do we have yeah, a secret that's uh, fair. light bearer that we don't know about? Well, that is Laura true. says, how do we know that? We're, we're, we're assuming that... What if we're we thinking are. about this wrong? Yeah, we haven't actually tested anything out. Exactly. Yeah. That's why we should have just all gone to one room and tried it. Well, that's what I suggested. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Back to let's square one. Go let's just all, all right. go west and figure it out, man. Yeah, let's just go to the west. western door and we'll see what happens. All right, you all head west. I just and... turn to Eden, and if you had just made the decision as a leader, huh? You <laughs> <know what I laughs> had to say it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just shoots, shoots him a dirty look and just kind of like falls back in step with Victor and just keeps her head down. Okay. You all stand in front of the western door room. So you all, you know, you went through the western uh, wing. So you all got to experience uh, that. So that was had the big open room and all that before entering. Mm -hmm. And you see the symbols. All right, Damien, let's try this out. All right. And they start chopping at the sun symbol. No, you fool. Just put your hand on the symbol. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. So, Jong and Damien, you're both there and putting your hands on the symbol. Is that what you're doing? That's what I'm what doing. About, <laughs> what about everyone else? <laughs> right. What, what about everyone else? I'm just standing He's, back. I'm walking. standing away from it, yeah. Brock is observing from afar with Sil Young behind him. I'm going to say all of you are then watching from afar. And once all of you step back, and the two of you are in front of the room, suddenly the door starts to lift. Oh, there you go. Oh, I was right. right. Eden takes a step forward. Like and then close the, door, the door starts to close. Oh. So they are closed off. But it doesn't look like we're locked into place after we open them. Meaning Damien and I don't have to necessarily go in this room. We just need a light bearer and a wave controller if we want to use the Western room. Right. Uh, yeah. Still young. Still have to make the decision. Can you go up and touch the door with Damien? And Jung steps back. Sure. He walks forward and the door rises with the two of you. Okay, up, so it's chop, it's chop. Not... chop, chop, oh, chop, chop. So you can switch it up. All right, cool. Cool, cool. All right, well, I Hold still on. think the Eastern. I've got an idea. Mm -hmm. What? <sighs> this is. Okay, this is crazy, but hear me out. <laughs> Scopio, a long time ago in the Crown game, said that Damien and Horace Velger were one and the same and they counted as part of the team. What if Horace Velger touched the other sun door because he's technically a light bearer? If that <laughs> works. It's worth a shot, but I seriously <laughs> doubt it. <laughs> I'm going to have some crazy. serious questions for this my family. <laughs> I mean, look, 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 look. It's coming you, Horace Felger. Oh, you know. Uh, you, you, you whip out your light, uh, sorry, music box. Come on out. Hmm. Horace <laughs> Felger jumps onto your shoulder. And you can tell he's Aww. like, he's kind of eyeing the whole area, looking around. He's like, dog, we got to talk about that summoning it. you do. <laughs> I can't deal uh, with that moaning. <laughs> Horace? Go, Horace Felger. Oh. Follow them. Can oh, wait. Actually, you can touch touch this. I'm going <laughs> to run. I'm going to run over here. <laughs> and when you run away, the door shuts. What's happening? And Horace, cool. how, so if Horace Felger does not count as a light. No, you can count as, as, as the frog is not a light bearer. <laughs> Grace, buddy, it's good to see you. Let's move on. Cut the music, Cut the music, game. Cut the music he, hasn't, game. he hasn't touched the symbol yet. Can a wave controller hold him up so he can touch the symbol? I, Siliong says, I never touched the symbol. I don't believe touching the symbol is required. Oh. Yeah, I think it's just two people of that position have to be in, like, if, in front of the door. Well, like, I if, tried. If we're right, if what Jong is saying is right, that would mean if there was another wave controller there, it wouldn't have shut down. I think is what he's trying to say. Yeah. Um, it was a either thought. Way, it was we a know thought. what we have to do. Uh, this would have been an easier split if it was just a team of eight, but we're not, so. 
I'm, and then Sil Young says, I'm so sorry. I, I really should not have been a part of this team. Sil Young. Yeah, it's that's okay. right. <laughs> uh. I can, and he says, if you'd like, I can turn myself in. No, 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 no. No, you no. fool. It's too late now. We might as well just get this over with. What if, and hear me out, hear Brack out. Oh. Brack has been thinking about this big brain. What if we just use the same doors, but one person doesn't go into one particular room, but the other is locked in a room, and that person is needed to come back to let them out or in. How we choose to do it. So we could put yeah. Sil Young in this room by himself, since it would take two positions to open up this door. And then we, have we no can go and take everyone up. else. Hmm? What if we're locking him in with something dangerous? Yeah, I don't want to leave him alone. We have to split up into 442 is the only way. We yeah. can't do 442. Yeah, because we still need a light bearer. We need an extra light bearer. Oh yeah, Damien's the only one. We should continue to test the theory you have brought forth. Okay. All right, let's go to the eastern room. Yeah. You head to the eastern room. Yeah. The eastern room is the one with the squirrel thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Let's go there first. All right. So we need a spear bearer, I guess a fisherman, and an anima. How about if we just summon something and try it? Race Felger, go! You're already out. Yeah. Race Felger walks forward and stands okay. in front of the door. We need a spear bear and a fisherman. Uh, I'll walk he, forward. Race Felger, he walks with his two legs. He doesn't pop. He walks over to the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is news to me. <laughs> isn't there? he like? Isn't he oh like? Like zero point six meters or something <laughs> like that? Like <laughs> three, inches. Three, three inches. Three inches. <laughs> Three a whole inch frog out here walking on two legs. It's crazy. I could make such He's... a bad joke, and I'm not gonna do it. Oh He's my god, that looks so over. funny. You already, you made the joke. You already right? did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot, uh, right? Hey, wait, 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 wait. I can make it worse because you said you know what race filter tastes like, though. Oh, oh my. Here, okay. Oh, 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 oh boy. We're deviating from oh, this. Oh boy. We're going on. At that moment, race filter turned around like what? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Guys, keep it professional. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect because his eyes are red. I noticed uh, that Fred froze for a second. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're. S oh shoot. Uh, are we still live? I think we are. Uh -oh. oh, let me go try. Let me go try. Yeah, we are still live. Okay. We are yeah, still live. Oh, we are? Yeah, yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> 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 All right, Titus. Come on now. Even the okay. internet was like, enough of that. <laughs> we we cut, but we're still on the same stream. Okay. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Fortune is on outside. All right, so it's me, Hurray Silger. I need a fisherman. Shion, won't you do the honors? Sure. She walks forward. Nothing happens. Okay, just like I thought. Wu, how about you step forward? I'm going, I'm going. Put my hand on it. Uh, as soon as you walk forward, the door starts to rise. So okay, it is very an solid. We've confirmed it. Right. Uh, I have to go through this one, and we're you, you guys are gonna have to figure out the split. It's the only way. But that All still right. only makes it nine, right? Yeah, like the best we can do is nine, but we have ten people. And Siliong, I don't want to hear anything from you. You're part of the team. Thank you. I won't be a burden. You're not a burden, hon. Don't worry about it. Don't worry okay. to him, Eden. She kicks Laura, Laura says, She's hey, getting I, tired of this. I have a question. Um, who is this kid? He's part of our team. His name is Sil Young. He's from this floor. We just met him on this floor. No. That Jesus. one I'm from over there, six. he's pointing he, to Victor. He's freed him out of prison, and now... <laughs> He's on our team. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we still lying to half the team here? Uh, Laura, she's part of the either. team just like you. I, I have to make a correction, John. I'm from the sixth floor. Whatever. Wait. Oh. You're from... Well, we knew that already. Yeah, Yeah, because he's the one with the necklace. So... Yeah, he's the dude that Timmy mentioned. 
-hmm. Why does he have connections to House Lindquist? Apparently, they called him Gray. And they want him back to being a part of their family. What that means, don't know. House Jester? Could be. Could be. We don't know. House House Fortune Teller? Mm, Possibly. It's more in tune with his well, power. It's not really a fortune teller, Brad. Can you guys stop making fun of Celia I, and focus on the point? That was, that was just an objective fact. The point is, he's part of the team. What are you suggesting, Laura? I wasn't. I simply wanted to clear that up. It was on my mind. I think we need to make a decision. Something tells me that we're overthinking this. And that we all don't need rooms? No, I think we all need rooms. But have we not considered that it could be important that all four rooms are occupied? And how do we do that by without maybe oh. You know what we haven't tried? Not having the full amount of people at a four door place. We've only tried the True. two door and the three door. If we only need three people of the same type to open up a door, then we can easily split everybody up. I, 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 I simply am wondering how they're even tracking our positions, right? It must be our pockets or something connected to us in some way. So uh, you say if they're that? tracking us in that way. That might influence how the rest of the doors open. So you're saying if we switch pockets, that'll work. I'm not sure about switching pockets, but... Changing our identities? Here you go, Race Felger. <laughs> I'm the anima now. They've... I suppose it, it would align with the rules of the te- of this, this test, but I don't know. Look, I'm literally 30 minutes overdue for my bath, so if we don't figure this out soon... Let's just try with let's let's try with uh, unmanned like undermanned. We we tried that earlier with uh, myself and Sil Young. Yes, it didn't open. Yeah, I think we need the full amount of people per door. But that doesn't really make sense. It's impossible. It is. The numbers don't work. They're they're tracking us in some way. Something tells me that once we start claiming rooms. We've never claimed a room. We've never even walked into a room. We don't know what's going to happen. Are you saying the symbols would change to accommodate once we take a room? Possibly. Oh my god, is that the solution? <laughs> just let's try. Leaf, what do you think? Go go into the room we're in front of, the people who went in there, and just uh, claim the room. I'm that a little nervous that we're going to make a permanent decision here. Yeah, I think so. So let's go to the southern room. The southern room? Yep. All right. Since that's the room that has the most people and the one that where we have the limited amount of people, we're going to use that one first. Okay. You all agree? Yep. Let's try it. Head south. You step in front of this door. You see the symbols. Fisherman, light bearer, scout, wave controller. All right. So... Who's it going to be? Brack steps forward for the fisherman role, and he brings Sil Young forward with him for the wave controller role. Okay, yeah, that's two. I, ha- I have hey, to be there because he's got to be the only it's Laura. There. And it's Laura. your idea. You go. I'll okay. stay back or you can use the item the door. The four of you um, walk forward, and the door rises. I guess. Go, go in. in. We go in and try to claim it. Okay. Laura just looks around and kind of shrugs. And then when she walks through, a barrier shimmers behind her. And she looks behind her. Oh, dear. This is the crown game all over um, again. And when she tries to leave, it doesn't let her. Oh, this is exactly Okay. I guess they claim the room by walking in. Uh... Hmm. Okay. So. All right. So now we should check the other doors and to see if any of the symbols changed. Above you, you notice that the eye symbol has now glowing red. Ah. Uh, 
So she's locked to that room, right? My bad. High table question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Did, you say what kind of, did you say what kind of barrier it was? Did you say a color? Uh, the no, there was actually no color. It was like a transparent. It was just when she you tried to touch it. Brack tries to walk, she walked, back out. Walked everybody through, else, yeah. And when okay, she tries to leave. You. I got yeah, you. Yeah. I got you. All right, Brack, you, you got it. Brack tries to walk out. Well, so she's the only one that's walked into the room so far, as far as I'm aware. Oh, so it's set. And then there's just a translucent barrier there. Okay. Well, then we uh, just have to decide who else goes with her, and then the door will close after we leave. Oh, you know? so it'll let yeah. like a fisherman. In. Okay, okay. Yeah, we and can let any of the other off. three in, and then close okay. It. But once then, you walk into the room, you can't uh -huh. come out. Got you. Ooh. Got you. I see. Uh, All right. Well, I guess Damien, don't come through. Damien, you go with Jong. I'll go to the west room. Yeah, because yeah. that means someone have to go by themselves. Yeah, we just need. I, I think a team of three would be better than just... Um, I agree. I think everyone but me would be good for the yeah, for this room. We gotta finish. We need a way of control our fish. Uh, uh, Brack goes through the door with Sil Young. Okay. Okay. Fisherman yeah. and wave controller. All right. Those good luck, bud. Up. All right. Good luck, guys. Now, what's interesting is that once you've done this... uh, Actually, never mind. Forget oh, I said right. what? Wait, <laughs> well, uh -huh. Forget okay, I said bro, that Nothing. <laughs> all right. All right. Our life Forget force it. is being drained. <laughs> the matter explodes and everybody dies. <laughs> okay, so Brack, Sil Young, and Laura are in the room. Uh, um, okay. I guess we should go check out the uh, the other the room. Western. Yeah, I agree. All right, all right, you all head to the Western room, leaving behind your three teammates. All right, so. As they're leaving, Brack touches the wall with puppy dog guys looking at them like. Oh no! <laughs> no! Don't do that. I look back and reach out my hand and then close it. Wait, we don't Turn do that. We shouldn't do this one first because we might need uh, you to open up the other door, right? What other door? This is the last uh, this lighthouse. Is the only oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I guess Chong and Damien. Oh, wait, Damien's the only. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Your best buddy, Jong. You two are gonna get along so well, says Leaf. I know. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have Leaf here. Leaf could go. Um No 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 she's not with wolf. She, 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 <laughs> I'd rather go with my best bud. I'm not your best bud. He can tell you so many jokes. Eden? Mm. Shut it. Okay. <laughs> I will also accept rock, paper, scissors. Between uh, Leaf and Jung. You know what? Yeah. Why not, Wu? Sounds kind of fun. Yeah, it might be fun, but not this time. Right. Okay. Well, go go ahead, guys. Walk in. Let's get this over with, Damien. I <laughs> grab Jong's hand. And <laughs> Jong immediately walk. ripped his hand out of Damien's hand. <laughs> And I say, come on, man. If you touch me again, I'm knocking barrier. you out and walking into you with this room myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> so the two of you walk in? Yeah. Reluctantly. All right, you walk in, the symbols light up. And once they do, <laughs> the door slams shut behind you. Oh, gosh. How many fishermen? Uh, we have uh, two. Shion and who? Wait, Shion and you. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I'm not there no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not there. That's right. Yeah, no, she's no, the she's only one. one left. Yeah, there's just one yeah. fisherman left. There are two doors with fishes, though. Just keep that in mind. Right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. both other doors have fishes. It's yeah. why. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We can still have both. It really doesn't matter. We go. We we can, we got it. It's fun. So now where are you headed? The door is slammed uh, shut behind them. Oh. Uh, I guess we gotta go to the north door? Yeah. All right. Because it'd Head be the fourth... northern room. Yeah, we go oh, we north We have three, first. though. I'm in my room. I can't say anything. Oh, Hey, guys, shit. I just realized something, says Victor. 
We have two spear bearers. Th thank you, yeah. Captain Obvious. We have to occupy all four rooms. Yeah, right. so the spear bearers gotta split up. That's obvious, but like, what's your point? No, we but... just do two, three. Okay. Um, That's. I didn't realize that for some reason. I mean, it's the only way. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to do two and then two and three yeah. split up. So who's going okay. north and who's going east? Uh, I mean, I can go either, so it's up to you guys. Um. We have five of us left. Who should we put? We should probably put two of our strongest together. Hmm. I would just like to interject real quick, just just real real quick. Yeah. Uh, y'all gonna need Wu for the next door. Y'all gonna need Xion for the next door. Just. Yeah. Right. But I can it's open the door and not go in. So it's just like what. What we did with your door yeah. is like put in a certain amount of people and then send them to the next door. So it's gonna have to be three and two. We're yeah, like we're, we gotta drop two here and then do th right. three, or we go the opposite direction and come back. But whatever you think is the strongest combination out of what's left. All right, so if we have. We have uh, Wu, Leaf, Shion, Eden, and Victor. So I think it would probably be smartest if it's Victor, Wu, and Leaf, and then Shion and Eden. Or Shion and myself. Totally and we not. gotta go to the other place first. Right. So yeah. north door first. Yeah. Okay. All right. So wait, north door or eastern first? It'd be eastern first. No, eastern, eastern first. first. Eastern. Oh, yeah. east door yeah. first. Easter first. Yeah. No, no, no. No. Yeah. Because Shion, <laughs> I would be going with Eden into eastern room. So I gotta let you all into the northern room first. Right, so we have to go to the northern door. Oh, oh, they can, oh yeah, 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 they yeah. can. They wait. Can they get in? Yeah, they can get in without me. Yeah, we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't need me. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Wait, can yeah. we? Is I, I, I haven't heard anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we need to just try it. And remembering what Laura said, it seems like if we could lock ourselves in, that would be pointless. There's got to be something that happens. Okay. Well, let's try it though. I think I think we messed up somewhere along we messed the up way. Too. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, we definitely overthought this. It's what we do. So who's um, going north and who's going east? Same teams. Me and Eden East. Yeah, yeah, we'll do those teams. All right. So you're in the northern room now. Do you want to all walk in? Wu Leaf and uh, Victor. Yeah, sure. Before Victor leaves, he gives you a hug, Eden. I'm sure we'll see each other soon, but. Oh, we're always apart. Hey, this is part of the part of the game, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, She'll she gives him a kiss on the cheek. And be careful. You too. Uh, okay. He walks in. The three of you enter, and the symbols glow. And then when you walk east, mm -hmm. what's interesting about this? Let me mark down. Okay. Is that. Despite the fact that you do not have an anima, when you approach, the door opens up for you. Well, that's lovely. Uh, that's so confusing. I, yeah. I guess oh, we go. it's the girl's night, Shion, and she just gives her uh, an elbow. <laughs> yeah, yay, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Back together like at Artlum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the two God, of you walk in. <laughs> stop it! Okay! <laughs> bad memories! Nothing bad, nothing bad ever happened in our <laughs> You know? The two of you walk into the room, and then, you know, Brax team, all the different wings, suddenly all of the doors slam shut all together. Well, this isn't ominous. And then, they start to rise and all the doors are open. What? Where's my food? <laughs> <laughs> I already, I'm already going to find the prepared Wait a minute, so this, the test was splitting up in the, they would just wanted to see 
how we'd split up. Man, Tower got me jaded, bro. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Shion tries to walk out of the room and it lets her. Can we go to intermission now? Oh <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> There's no way this was all for nothing. No, it's probably it's probably Shion. a group Shion. that they made for our test later. Shion Siliong yeah. said they like to play with their prey. I think Damn we it. just uh, played a nice little game for them. They watched all. Can of I do a perception dudes? check yeah. to see if there are any observers around? See if I can uh, spot anything. Yeah. Or a lighthouse. Yep. Uh, that's gonna be a sixteen. You can't tell if there are. They you get the feeling watchers. you're probably being watched. Yeah. 100%. But you can't figure I'm more out. Wish it there to facilitate Man, it. I'm so pissed because I literally had that thought oh. halfway through this. I'm like, what if they're just fucking with her? <laughs> Ru, give me a rough <laughs> estimate, Joe. How much in game time passed while we were doing that? <laughs> like two hours, say, like, three hours, 40 minutes. Yeah, two hours. <laughs> oh, oh in game God. time? Because these no. wings are huge and you were walking back and forth and all kinds you know, Bro, we like, look like clowns. I figured it out oh, and I still. No. We clowned ourselves. Dude, Lee's probably. Clowns. No! John, no. I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go get a drink. He's gonna, oh, I'm, I'm so and, I'm down bad. Oh, and with man. that, we're gonna take oh, our break. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, anybody. Oh, um, I'm gonna get the beat in now. <laughs> and I need some fresh air. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll see you soon, family. everybody. Take care. Uh, enjoy the memes and the fan art, and we'll see you in about 10 minutes. Brock, see you feel soon. Bad, no. You know, in like contra.
is there anything? That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> Welcome <laughs> back, everybody, to Towers and Gods. We, we had a lot of fun looking at all those memes and fan arts. Um, any standout ones that you guys wanted to shout out? I just want to shout out everybody who captured exactly the over egotisticalness that Vlazer has of himself in his mind when he's doing anything. Because <laughs> I, I, for, I, for anybody who, who plays Overwatch, I 100% just, he pictures himself as the Reaper, like the character from Overwatch. And I just love that everybody understands how ridiculous he is. The Reaper ones, the one for Sung Woo when Leaf was pulling this air. I was imagining that yeah, Brock that scene. Do. Yeah. And uh, there was another one, the one with Victor, when Eden was trying to try, hoping that he wasn't in trouble and he had five stars. <laughs> that one is just hot here. That one was top tier. Oh, that that one was <laughs> So good, so good. Yes, so thank you all for submitting fantastic. all those memes and fan art. Join the Discord down below if you want to submit your own, and we'll feature it in next week's episode. But uh, yeah, we're back. Uh, we, the party seems to be a little uh, frustrated at, at their performance. But, I mean, I'd know. say more than a little frustrated. <laughs> Where's my bath, bro? Yeah, so, like, some of us are looking at two hours. I haven't gotten my so, bath yet. <laughs> so as you all are in your rooms, suddenly... All of you start receiving a call from an unknown number. Oh my god! So group, I'm not know. answering. <laughs> I, so just out of principle. I just, I just tell Victor to answer. I'm not. Here's <laughs> 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 me and Jong are of the same mind. We're just, uh, you answer it. It's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Eden will answer it. Rock <laughs> picks up the phone for the Southern Rum and acts. Okay. Uh, we ask for libations and food. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, so. Are Damien and Jong, are you actually ignoring it? No, we shouldn't. Okay. Yeah, I guess we should answer the phone. <laughs> we'll answer. You see, it's a vo it's a video footage being sent to you, and it's Taryn, the butler. No. Mm. Yo, Taryn, you got some questions to answer, my guy. <laughs> good evening, my champions. Oh, good evening, me, you son of a bitch. Where's my wine, Taryn? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my wine? for making you wait. I don't believe any members of the Lindquist family expected that it would take so long for you to settle into your rooms. I do deeply wow. apologize. And, and the about. backhanded wow. insult. This wow. Yo, where you at? What's your room number right now? Like, what up? <laughs> do you like this mansion? <laughs> do you enjoy your time here? We have a pyromaniac and we're not afraid to unleash him. Yeah, and I will turn all the way around and ignore it. You watch me, bro. I'll, Best I'll, buddy, can uh, can you just give me a heads up when you decide to set that room on fire? I need at least, you know, five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> I'm, re I'm really tired right now, you guys. I'll, can I just get, like, four whiskey sours? Thanks. That's fine. I'll set fire to the room. I'm feeling so far away right now. <laughs> you may have whatever food you desire, but first I'd like to explain myself a bit more. There seems to have been confusion amongst the rooms. Those are the rooms that you will be staying in during the remainder of your time here at the Lindquist Mansion. You may be wondering how we obtained your information. Well, that is something that we know and you don't need to know. Now, Then why overall, bring it up? You know what you need to know, Taylor? How you gonna be homeless soon? Oh my God, you about to become <laughs> unemployed, bro. I'll get, I'll change that to five whiskey sours now. <laughs> you must keep your pocket on your person at all times. Only the people who have registered in each of the rooms are allowed in each of the rooms. Does that make sense with all of you? You know, Taryn, Can there be an the exception? <laughs> like, Isaiah's just Isaiah now. He's like, left <laughs> He's so frustrated that he's just no, I think like Jong and I are of the same mind. <laughs> <laughs> Jong is saying all this in his head. <laughs> oh my God. Does all of you that You know what sense? I want? I want my bath that I asked for two hours ago and my wine. Bring it to the room, Terran. Your bath had been prepared, however, you had taken too long. It's cold so... now, redraw it. <laughs> <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, Terran, you should have given us information and then you wouldn't have to redraw the bath. Like, even is Omega Sassy right now. I do deeply apologize. No, yeah, you, you don't. don't. You don't understand. Guys, We're not that smart. Guys, 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 guys. He's going to spit in my food. Please, just can we just bring it all I will in? I shoot all of the messengers at this point. I'm literally crying. Now, Taryn, 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 Taryn. I would like my three pieces of mutton on big, big plates. 
And I would also like my oh crystal God. Moby Bam fillets. <gasps> Please. And thank you. Uh, Sil Young, do, would you like something? Um, soup would be perfect. Bring him some Moby Bam soup. <laughs> oh, no, I... crystal Bam soup. Along with <laughs> you don't want the fuzzy your soup. finest wine. <laughs> the fuzzy soup. <laughs> and two ice cream sundaes to this room. Gong, do you want one? No. Three ice cream sundaes. <laughs> <laughs> but I am okay with you making them do more work than necessary. So I'm okay with that. Of course. Hand churn that ice oh. cream. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's literally not the butler's fault. And for those of you who did not order, we'll be providing you with a variety of different kinds of food for you to enjoy. Oh, I'm sorry, Laura. I was so disrespectful. Would you like something, too? <laughs> Laura just laughs. I'll just have whatever they bring. Maybe I'll have some of your uh, mutton, if that's okay. <laughs> Not my mutton. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get your own. <laughs> uh, could I have some Crystal Bane fillets from you? <laughs> See, I'm willing to share that. Everybody must experience this delicacy. It's okay. so good. <laughs> That'll be funny for me. Uh, but if I could have a beer, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. And can we get a keg of beer? <laughs> One keg of beer. <laughs> Everyone also, is... Uh... <laughs> so just Please. to clarify, these are our rooms and whatnot, but we're free to wander, correct? You are now free to wander. However, and how no many else from another room is allowed in your room? That's whatever. How many cameras you got? Leave! I see you. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> cameras, that is not something I'm willing to disclose. It may yeah, factor yeah. into the game. Ah ha ha, games. No I hope you guys don't have a hot tub here. <laughs> yeah, and you guys better have cool games like Uno. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. We'll have your meals and baths to you as soon as we can. And he hangs up. And within a few Shion? minutes, maids all enter your room. Yeah, Eden. I don't think there's going to need to be a test. I'm with Damien on this one. I'm ready to burn this place to the ground. Okay, look. <sighs> it's fine. We just have to get through this. God, we should have just taken the second 20th floor test. I agree. This was not worth the headache. Mm. Especially since we're not even going to get a wish out of it. Well, we haven't decided that yet, okay? You know, a lot of this would have been easier if we had a leader. Oh. <clears throat> Reach to her! Sheehan, what? <laughs> Come on. Sheehan, what the heck? <laughs> Is there, hold up, is the group call still active? No, 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 no. We all to say. No, 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 no. He said, are we all speaker? <laughs> <laughs> Last week you were pro-democracy, Shion. No. No. Oh, man. Shion? Yeah? I'm going to ask for the sake of my sanity that these leader suggestions stop. I don't care who the... <sighs> My problem is that we're flip-flopping between the two. If we stick with one, that's fine. But in some of these cases, we spent two hours doing this when it should have taken us 20 minutes. Well, we did it the democracy way. So which one do you prefer? At this point, I don't even know anymore. Yeah, but because all I know is only that you care. last night snuck out of your room without telling anybody. Are you still on this? Yes, because what if you do it again tonight? Or tomorrow, and the oh. test is ruined. I can't go and into any other yourself. room. You jeopardize yourself. I can't go into room. I'm just saying things were a lot easier when we had a leader. You were the one who voted for democracy, but you don't like it when it doesn't work I voted work for democracy for because everyone else did. Huh? Victor yeah. was the only one that wanted a leader. Well, you could have picked a leader, but maybe you I should have. Maybe I should have. Maybe you're right. Well, People maybe, can maybe change. You Yeah, they can. <laughs> and sometimes... Similar. And sometimes... They change for the worse. You're kidding me, And right? looking for... And looking You're for kidding support. me. Because I switched... Deciding to do have a leader instead of democracy? That's... What are you saying? 
Listen to yourself. I'm talking about myself, Shion. <sighs> I'm gonna now go get your air. Thank you. And she I will. storms off. Well, she lets you leave then and stays in the room. No, I won't. I go in the bathroom. I'm taking that bath. Okay. Shoot. Then she, leaves the <laughs> <laughs> she leaves the room. <clears throat> um. <laughs> So that ice cream here yet, or? <laughs> so the maids are preparing the baths. They're asking you if you need anything else. And before long, meals are brought to all of your rooms, exactly as you had ordered. Brack, three huge plates of mutton, just like massive. And, and just like a dozen fillets of crystal bame lined up on each other. Uh, a mopey bame soup, a gigantic bowl of it a huge bottle of wine and three glasses and then a keg of beer. Brock is just singing, come and knock on my door. With the meal is yours and yours and yours, I'm eating good. <laughs> You're making me feel old, brother. Yes. Stop this. Yes. Stop yes, this. Bro. If chat knows what the reference is, <laughs> Then I'll be happy at least. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. That's gonna age the best side. <laughs> <laughs> if, if if nobody in chat knows what three's company is, I'm gonna feel old. I'm about to retire. That's all right. The real <laughs> ones now. The real ones now. Yeah. Right. What is three's company? Oh! Oh! you trolling! I'm ready. Oh, you trolling! Thank you guys for coming to the stream. We uh. Oh, you All right. Stream's All over. Right. We're gonna go. We're gonna go watch Three Kiss Company and the Star Wars prequels. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. All right. So, uh, the maids are there. You've gotten all your food, and they're there. Is there anything else we can do for you? Yeah. Go get Leaf to come in here personally and apologize to all of us. Do you say that? Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bro, call me, call me! <laughs> when I finish these drinks, I want there to be five more whiskey sours at the bar when I go there. Master <laughs> you mean Master Leaf? You wish to speak with Master Leaf? Absolutely. We are not allowed to speak with Master Leaf. Why not? Maybe you're not, but we are. <laughs> call me, bro. <laughs> call me. <laughs> <It> was... <laughs> We, we we do not have the authority to, to speak with Master Leaf. Well, I'm pretty sure I do. Tell me where he is. Um, the maid just kind of looks around. He would be in his room, which we are not disclosed to giving away that location. Never mind, I'll find him myself. Thank points, you. John, points! Give them points! How about the room to Yon Mila? John looks at Damien. What? Uh, Jan Mila will be in the in the guest room, but we are not allowed to disclose that information either. God, what see. can you guys say? The guest we can room. offer you more food. Would you like a massage? No, just get out of here. This is pointless. Thank you for your service. I know it's not your fault. House Lindquist kind of, you know, sucks. Oh, don't tell him I said that. <laughs> she eyes you, <laughs> gives you a side eye, and then walks away. I had a lot to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Brack, how does your is your room? You're just enjoying the feast. Enjoying the feast, discussing things with Sil Young and uh, Lore. I'm explaining to Lore the first time that I ate one of these delicious Crystal Bane steaks. And then I'm explaining to her like exactly how you cut her in and how buttery soft you can actually <laughs> get it to be. And then I'm looking over at Sil Young. I'm like, hey man, cheer up. It's okay. <laughs> Brack is here. Protector of the year. Oh, Brack. Yeah. As I'm probably that. a little inebriated because I drank a little bit of the beer because sure, more sure. was a little bit too forceful with like, share with me. You ordered the cake, you ooh, you doof. And I'm just like, ah, okay, I'll drink it. <laughs> oh, this is pretty good. <laughs> you have the time of your life, okay? <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotcha. all this amazing food, silly. Oh wait. Okay. Uh, Eden, the bath has been prepared for you. You've got like, they ask you if you want it uh, as a bubble bath. Mm, sure. Okay. We'll it's get steaming hot bubble bath. 
all kinds of soaps and shampoos, and there's even rubber ducks there if you uh, if you wish to to play with Absolutely. some rubber ducks. Absolutely. So she all of you have that, by the way. Absolutely. She looks yeah, at him. Oh, I have that. <laughs> Sorry, what you? No, she looks at him, and she, before she gets in the bath, grabs him and puts him in her inventory, and she's like, "I'll give these to Damien and Leaf later." <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out to just another uh, burner for becoming a Towers and Gods fan. Thank you so much. Hey, Enjoy the hey what's good? Enjoy the emotion. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right. At this time, you all are enjoying your meal. Do you all take baths? You know, um, but you check your pocket. It's like nine thirty at night. At this point, it's quite late. You're taking a long bath. Okay. There is only one bath, so you all have to kind of take turns. Per room, though, right? Per room, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's my bath. <laughs> Victor and Lee. There is only one bath. Woo's bath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there is something Eden wants to do once everybody is asleep. So, yeah. I'll throw that out there. Same, actually. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Brack, Damien, I assume you as well. You know, it's, uh, it's oh, I was. No, 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 no. Brock is cool. He's content. He feels like he's Aww. living a high life for the first time in his Fair life. Enough. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is, this is great. I'm not even oh, in my room. I'm at, I'm at the should... bar drinking whiskey sours. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably ex uh, explain the rooms a little bit. Uh, it's like a velvet color, huge beds, absolutely massive beds, corresponding to the number of people in your room, or you could have extra if the symbols, if you had less than a number of symbols. Um, there's chairs, like big velvety cushiony chairs that you sit back and it just you sink into it. Uh, there's uh, games there. There's like a chess table, a deck of cards, and um, yeah, it's got a lot of different stuff. I, I but no window, no window. Can I can I get out my bath now? Is yes. <laughs> All right. So I took a nice long soapy bath as I indulged in. Uh, my gourd for the first time since we got to the floor you know mm -hmm. it's been a while i had to have a nice bath came out i immediately grabbed a pillow off of the bed and chucked it at victor's face <laughs> he was it, not yo. preparing and then, and then i look at leaf and i yell out pillow fight yeah <laughs> she immediately joins in <laughs> and yeah. Victor, just yells, no victor, victor smiles and joins in right away chucking pillows Aww. and the three of you just start chucking pillows all over the room uh they are quite nice pillows but the second you start throwing them feathers start to fly out out of them uh and the room starts to just have feathers flying all over the place and then i genuinely reach out my head to victor and give him like a, a nice handshake and laugh <laughs> he shakes he shakes your head and laughs as well. <laughs> Missed you, man. Uh, yeah, you know, now that I think about it, it's been a while since you and I have really hung out. Yeah, well, you know, your dark secrets and all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any dark secrets. Y'all are assuming that about me. I know. You're right by me, bro. Just, uh, do anything too crazy. Right, Leaf? Leaf, while you were having this like heart to heart, she kind of like put up a little heart and was looking at you through them. Yeah, a hundred percent. This is gonna be maybe kind of fun, at least until tomorrow. It's like a sleepover. No. Yeah, we'll be good. Just uh, don't get too comfortable. I don't trust anybody here. You know, I'm kind of worried about Jong and Damien. The two of them don't Ew. really get along. That's what they would have you think, but actually, they like each other more than you would care to believe. Really? Hmm. At least Damien does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. It's been four and a half years and Jong still hasn't really opened up to us. He will on his own time. Trust me. If there's anybody uh, in our group that I trust, it's Jong. Really? Out of everyone? Well, not as much as you. And I kind of tap her on the head. <laughs> she she chuckles and smiles. Uh, okay. At this point, we're going to cut to Silly Young really quick. Brack. Brack? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. hello. Mm. I wanted to say thank you for the crystal beam soup. Not that they, I didn't make it for you, but it was good to hear you step up for yourself and actually decide to order something, even though you hate this place. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's... It's strange being back. I never wanted to come back mm. here again, but I suppose fate has decided. And Laura gives him like a quizzical look. I don't think fate has anything to do with any of this. It's just a case of wrong place, wrong time, wrong people. You stayed on a floor that is pretty much ruled by a family. And you pretty much stayed close by them if we're really thinking about it. You were bound to be found by them. I know. If you, But I didn't want to leave when I knew I could perhaps save Lyria. Who's Lyria? My soulmate. And then Laura says, ooh, got a girlfriend? G girl? No, no, no. <laughs> Nothing romantic. We're simply fated. <clears throat> and you notice he starts kind of rubbing his uh, bracelet. Keep pressing, Laura. Keep pressing. Uh, <laughs> faded. Yes. I see. So I take it you believe heavily in fate. Fate does exist, although it can be changed with a strong will. Hmm. Interesting. And where is your Lyria? I believe she was... One time I ran into soldiers from House Lindquist and they told me that she was sent away to a higher floor. And with that bracelet that you have, is that your connection with her or is it something that you got from her? I suppose you could say it is, perhaps. She made these. He holds it up, but isn't looking at it. He's just showing you all. Okay. So she made that. Yes. I'm yeah. quite tired. I might head to sleep now. All right. Get some rest. Got a big day of protecting you tomorrow. Uh, Laura. Really? <laughs> yeah? Got a question for you. Um, mm -hmm. Wu said he met you on the sixth floor, and you led us to that place where we got ambushed by that naked guy and that crazy lady. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You ran into the regulars. To, to the who? Well, I'd heard rumors that there were a couple of dangerous regulars in the area. I'm assuming. So you, so you don't know them. No, a naked guy, and no. His name was Stool. I mean, <laughs> started with a B. <laughs> moment everyone while we pause to regain the oxygen in our lungs also oh, our dm right. is broken oh my god oh, and right. has stopped responding wow. oh my god i just want to say this isn't knee, milios bro. talking this is Brock. i'm in character just you're doing great and we love you it. for it Towers and Gods, Cast, and DM.exe oh, have stopped responding. Please wait while we restart. Oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> no. We good? We're good. We're good. Let's go. Uh, stool? I'm sorry. It actually started with a B. Bull? Bull. Bull. His name was Bull. And the other one named, it was after a facial expression. Uh, 
<sighs> Can't not drawing anything, but you have a makeup. Makeup? Yes. All I knew was that I'd heard that there were thieves to the west, and typically I would accept a job like that, but it came up right as I was about to take my test, so Wu seems like a capable regular, and he was also a scout, and we got to talk, and I thought I'd let him know, just in case. So, would that make you a mercenary? Um, uh, kind of. I mean, we're all kind of mercenaries when you're trying to gather points. True. True. But where do you come from, Lore? What, what's your point of origin? My what point floor? Of origin? I'm gonna knock on the door, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is it? It's Wu. Oh, uh, I don't think you can come in. But do you want no, us to put you, you just, outside? You, no, just you. I thought we were gonna talk. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Brack. Ooh. I forgot I made plans with uh, with Wu. Go ahead, have fun. But the classic Discord crash. The classic. <laughs> it's all good. It's the universe all good. does not want Sun and Laura to. Nah, they gotta oh, meet. No. They gotta meet. He can't get Lady Lake. He gotta get the other one. <laughs> they <gotta> right. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> that is not what this is about, dude. We're just gonna talk. You're right. You're right. You're right. We all just want ostrich, you know, over, <laughs> above the table. Above the table. Uh, okay. And she walks out. Hey, how's it going? So, uh, how's it been in there with Brack and Cilio? Um, Surprisingly fun. He's a interesting guy. That's my guy. He didn't shake, try to shake you down for any food, did he? Because no. Not Brock hears that through the door. He's like, she tried to shake me down for my steaks. No, I was simply asking if I could have some. Sorry, liar. You wanted some of his steaks? Yeah. Hmm. Brack, we gonna no. talk later, buddy. Um, okay. Right. Enjoy your alone time. Good night. <laughs> and uh, you start walking down the hall. This place is uh, pretty creepy, but pretty fascinating at the same time. You want to know something? What? There's at least a few points that we're being watched from. I can't even tell how many. What they actually want with us is a mystery. You might have made a mistake coming here. Are you sure you're okay with this? Honestly, I don't really care how this ends up. I wouldn't have regretted this for anything. I like adventure. Wait, and... you mean just being here? Doing nothing is fun for you? Yeah. I'm in the Lindquist Mansion, and I got to meet a bunch of fascinating regulars. Why can't more people be like you? <laughs> huh. No, 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 no. In fact, people have called me weird for it, but that's just how I am. Well, if you're weird, I'm even weirder. So, <laughs> she smiles. What it is. <laughs> well, if that's all it is, your interest, then I kind of got my answer. I'm sure Brack said something to you, but I just wanted to make sure. I, I got a weird feeling after uh, we were on the sixth floor. I just want to make sure that uh, my read on you is right. But would you I've never been that honest. Well, someone who I want to spend more time with. Hmm. Well, that's what I picked up from you, too. Someone who shares a similar kind of want for adventure. <laughs> Gonna have to minimize my camera here. Okay. Can't look, Emilio's cool, cool. All I can say is that I'm even happier to have known you than I was the first time I met you. I knew there was something different about you. But at the same time, and please don't blame me for this, I've dealt with a lot of weird things in my life, and I don't trust many people. So if at any point you want to know anything about me, just ask. Anything about Wu? Hmm. You're an animal, right? Uh, I thought that was obvious. Well, you never told me that specifically. I just picked it up from the group. How many Shinwa you have? Well, that's kind of interesting. I mean, 
What do you know about Shinwe and Anima? Nah, uh, not much. I'm not really good with animals myself, but... Have we ever met an Anima that can use Shinwe without a bull? Without a bull? Without a bull. Wait, she stops. Show me. Please don't be alarmed. They're uh, kind of unruly. And as a matter of fact, the more and more I keep letting Mizaru out, he's kind of getting on my nerves. But whatever, Mizaru, <laughs> this is the this is the end of our bet. Okay, come out. Mizaru pops out of nowhere, hands over his eyes. This is one of my best friends, Mizaru. He's kind of shy. What? He's so cute. So this is your Shinwei, huh? Well, he's just one of my friends, is what I would say. The moment she tries to reach down and pet him, he backs away. <laughs> Mizaru, come on, man. I know you're shy, but like, she's a friend. I know you want to come out more. Just at least try and shake her hand. He refuses. Hmm. Well, not like I've seen him interact with many people. I knew he was shy. Sorry. About Don't take that. it personally. I told you I was bad with animals. Or Shinwei. Yeah, it's okay. There's a couple more where he came from. Maybe they'll like you. Mizuru. Oh, really? This is the last time you're coming out for a couple of weeks. He starts whimpering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Do you summon the next? Uh, you know what? Let's bring out the boy that hasn't been shown yet. Yeah. Oh. Go hit him with the monkeys. Wait. <gasps> We've seen that one, right? It's Iwazaru. Yeah, no, it's Iwazaru. Iwazaru. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aww. Hey. Iwazaru pops out of nowhere, hands over his mouth. <laughs> Iwazaru doesn't talk much, but I figure you and him would get along. Pretty cool. curious bunch. Hey, this little guy. He, he, was ref he, he refuses to even get close to her. Oh. Yeah. Can I meta game here for a second? That's yeah, two bro. that ones You're... in a row for Laura with oh. animal handling. I'm not even joking you right now. Two nat ones in a row, dude. Those are my only rolls for the day, basically. I was gonna say, woo, your wingman kind of suck right now, bro. Can I? <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I roll animal handling to co to convince? <laughs> he, he, he was hard to like it. Uh, you could try. It's gonna need a really high roll. He said, "Boy, don't ruin." I that have game. plus six, brother. I know. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's a twelve. No, no. Damn. Despite what you're trying well, to get him to do, no, 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 no. You know what, Iwazaru? There's a reason we don't talk much, and I just <laughs> did, make him disappear. Damn. Oh no! Damn, no. Oh, well, man. you can tell he's not, not happy. Oh happy. no. It's not a big deal. They don't like many people. As a matter of fact, I'm their only friend, and they're my only friends until recently. How many of them do you have one more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Well, maybe yeah, I'll but have you're to look at this one. Probably. We'll see. Either way, with all that said, I'm glad to have you as part of the team. Oh, did you not did you not summon Kikazaru? Does she want to really meet him? Fine, Kika want to meet him. <laughs> Kikazaru, come out, bro. Hi, Kikazaru. How are you doing? Kikazaru, Kikazaru if you don't <laughs> stand up for me, she I, promise, I promise I will summon you for the next 15 episodes without anybody else seeing any screen time. <laughs> she reaches down to pet him, and he lets her. Oh. And he kind of snuggles up to her a little bit. Hey, see? Whew, oh, you okay. are in. Oh, you are in. Well, I, you know? Oh, they're so cute. Yeah. And, I, like, I, Wu can't help but be slightly unsettled that, like, his best friends do not get along with her at mm -hmm. all. Sure. Okay. Anyway, were you going to say something? No. Like I said, just happy to have you as part of the team. Same here. We should probably get our rest, though, for tomorrow. Yep. Good night. Hey, see you tomorrow, Wu. Uh, okay. Who else would like to take the take the wheel? Me, 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 me. Boom, 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 Damien. You are currently in the room with Chong. Oh, I'm not actually. I went okay. to the bar. Yeah, I think he said he's at the bar. 
You're I'm at a bar. a bar? I mean, I assume a mansion said. like this would have a bar. There's no bar. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm just wandering. I'm sorry. I thought you were I just know. ordering drinks. I drank all my drinks. I'm just outside. He was going to the source. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're just wandering the halls. That's right. It's very empty and very quiet. And eventually you do hear someone coming, footsteps approaching, echoing down the hall. I just keep, I have to keep walking. But who is hey, it though? Hey, hey, you hear Shion's voice. Damien, what are you doing out? I just had to move my legs around. I've, I've had a lot of, to drink, honestly. Hey, wait, you... She kind of holds your shoulders. You... Okay. We're going to walk you back. Come on. God, why did you drink so much? I, I really don't want to go back. Damien, you can't be out drunk like this. It's not like you. I just... I need some air. I don't know if there's any air in this goddamn mansion. Do you think we can find some? Uh, she kind of looks around. Will it really make you feel better? It would. Don't come breathe on me. <laughs> come on. Sorry, it that's takes... premium air. That's pagan. <laughs> it takes you a while, and there's a bunch of twists and turns, but she eventually does manage to find a stairwell that leads you up onto a balcony on the rooftop of the mansion. It takes you a good while to get there, though. But there's some fresh air. Oh, that is so much better, Shion. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no problem. But you sure you're okay? I just don't know what I should do. What do you mean? With the test? Not about the test. Me and... That woman, Yan Mila, have we have history. History? You've met her before? Many times. She is somewhat of a celebrity, where I'm from. A celebrity? But You're from the twenty first floor, right? That's right. Although she's never enjoyed doing stuff like this. I have no idea why she's here right now. I would have thought she would be way up higher. <sighs> Did something happen I... between you two? It's complicated. You she... Know? I should tell you though if you can keep a secret <laughs> no sure. it shouldn't be a secret I just don't really know what to do Yon Mela is she knows where my dad is what on the 21st floor my dad did a job with the Yon family and only direct descendants and heads of family, no. And a long time ago, I confronted her about it. Uh, She's always been very kind, you see. Do you want this to be private, or keep it like this? It's okay. I don't mind. <sighs> so even though she's a regular, she would know something that secretive? She's a prodigy when it comes to fire. People are saying she is going to be the pride of the Eon family. She mastered fire at a very young age. A lot of people are hedging bets that she will be as great as someone like Adori Jihad. Well, they're way overestimating her, in my opinion. She is pretty strong. You fought her? A long time ago, yes. 
before I was a regular. And I would hardly call it a fight. More like someone who was demanding answers and just got obliterated. What are the odds you'd run into her here? And I don't know what to do, Shion. What am I supposed to do? She might be my best chance of finding my father. But she would never say it. She would never give out a state secret. <sighs> Damien, tell me straight. If you were to fight Jan Millet now, who would win? I don't know. Well, then don't take that chance. I don't know how strong she's become, but I've certainly got stronger. You know, we're going to be at the 21st floor after we finish all this Lindquist shit. So, maybe we can start thinking about your father then. We're all here for you, you know, even if we don't always say it. And Just... it sounds like she's not going to be here for long. I'm just scared, you know? Yeah. I know. She, uh, like, has her arm around your shoulder. I know. You've always good, been good to me, Shion. Why? All I do is cause trouble. Yeah, that's true. But that's why we... <laughs> she rolls her eyes. That's why we like you. You might be... The goofball I don't know. Group. A bit of a wild card at times, but... Our group wouldn't be the same without you. And while everyone else, they bring their own strengths, weaknesses, at the end of the day, you're the heart of our team. And I can't say that about anyone else. Thank you, Shion. Yeah, no, no problem. Uh, she pats in the back. You feeling feeling okay? A little bit tipsy. Yeah. Well, we got our fresh air. We should probably take you back now. Hey, Shion. Yeah. Things might end really bad for me. Don't don't say stupid stuff like that. Come on. You don't mean that. I do. In fact, I know things will end badly for me. But I hope you'll stay my friend. And thank you for believing in us for the past 20 floors. You've always been such an avid supporter of democracy. <laughs> she, she pauses. Yeah, about that. Uh, <laughs> never mind. We should just get you back to your room. Come on, come on. Yeah. She leads. She leads. <laughs> <laughs> she leads the way back to your room. You're such a oh beautiful my. person, she. <laughs> oh well, I mean, now he's been. It was such a beautiful moment. <laughs> <laughs> She takes you back. Hey, Jong. Oh my God. Yes. Special delivery. I am not feeling well. What is it? 
a drunk frog, and she leads him into the room without entering. I didn't order that, but I sure. think I'm gonna cry, Jung. <laughs> and that's my cue. I'll uh, I gotta go. All right, have a good night, guys. I'm in good hands. <laughs> um, at this point, Eden, what are you doing? So she's waiting for like everyone to get settled in their rooms, and she's going to sneak out to the ballroom. She doesn't have her coat on; her hair's down, and she goes in okay. the ballroom, and she just begins dancing in the dark and the quiet, just by herself. Sure. You dance. How long would you like to dance? She's going to dance for a couple hours. Sure. Damn. So, while you're dancing, suddenly you hear a voice um, say, that's some nice form. She finishes the movement she was doing and she just stops and turns to see who it is. Uh, you see the member of the Yan family walk up to you. And Eden does a very respectful bow. Oh, you don't Jan have to. Jan Miller. Yes, that is my name. You're Eden, correct? Correct. I went out to get some fresh air and uh, happened to see you dancing. Ah, well, I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope I wasn't interrupting. No, you're fine. What can I, I do for a, you? You know, the person in your team, the the one with the purple hair, what was his name again? Eric. Eric Frog, right? Just oh, We just know him by Eric. <laughs> right. It's apparently the name he goes by now. Right. You don't know anything about his family, would you? No, can't say that I do. Why? Are you like some old flame of his? What? No! You see, she instantly is taken aback. Oh. No, 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 no. Um, oh, I thought it'd be more fun than that. What? No. what what's, what's your history? There's no history, really. He just looks familiar is all. But I must have been mistaken. Who Sorry. are you looking for? I'm not looking for anyone, really. But Well, you said he looked familiar, so what's the name of the person you're looking for? She hesitates. Just someone who I ran into a while ago. It's no big deal, really. I'm sure everything's fine. Sorry to bother you, and I didn't mean to spy. No, you're and fine. I will say this. The Lindquist family, they... She looks around. They're a bunch of monsters. And why are you working with them? That's a whole other story. I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow at the feast. Hey, Milla. Yeah. What makes you say that they're monsters? I shouldn't say anything more. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. See you at the banquet. Just, then, it, even though she says that, she hesitates. Just keep in mind that they're all very strong regulars. All of them. How strong we talking? Have a good night. She turns and leaves. We're going to cut to Jong really quick. So Jong, you, according to what you've said, would like a certain something. I'm hunting Linquist, bro. <laughs> you got your shotgun. It's <laughs> Linquist season. <laughs> wait, wait, you going after Leaf? Oh, well. <laughs> uh, not specifically. 
I don't know why. You going after his sister? No, 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 no. Roll no, no, no. investigation for me. Sure can do. Oh, wait, hold on, I gotta. You're not going out with Ashridge. That's not that's not Jong's mo. <laughs> No, what can. is 18 okay so you do follow some sign you, you start to look at the doors and you realize there's a pattern and you start to realize that the more you walk around this empty place this silent place you realize that their room one of their members of the house Linquist family's room is most likely in the west wing which is actually right near your room. You would start examining the doors that in that giant room with the two pillars. And there's two doors that you have. A, you, you, you look at like the way that the markings are drawn. One of the doors has an A above it and the other a B. Okay, I'm gonna assume that I know who the A door is, so we're not gonna do that one. Uh, I'm gonna go to the B door. And what do you do? I uh, knock on it. No response. Jong knocks again. No response. Roll perception. Mm. Perception. Perception. Is 15. You don't know who it is, but someone is in the room with you now. Who's there? You notice me? And Astrid walks. Yeah! Oh, very close oh, to you. Oh, yeah! Time. She likes you and she wants you. I can leave the room if you want. Now, you could do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. What's I'll it going to be, there. John? What's it going to be? John silently says to himself, literally any other linguist. <laughs> literally. I noticed you were knocking on my brother Bo's room. Maybe you got the wrong room? Mine's right over there. No, I knew where your room was. I chose not to knock on it. You know where my room is? <gasps> and she does a little intake. Scandalous. <clears throat> and she starts looking up and down. Look, how long have you been a part of this family's dealings? I was born as the daughter of Lord Signe, ever since I could remember. So then, you're probably aware of how many connections your family has to people on this floor. You're going to meet many of them tomorrow. It's all right, I just need one. I'm looking for someone, actually two people. And uh, she starts walking closer to you. Uh, what can I help you with? Do the names Senya and Juno say mean anything to you? No, they don't mean anything, but, and she walks close enough to touch your shoulder very gently. If you'd like, I can do a little research. Jong slaps her hand down. Oh, no, do thanks. The research. I'll do the research. Uh, she, before you slap it, she pulls it away. I'm sorry. And she starts chuckling. You... It's a waste of time. What is your connection to your family like? When you say my family, do you mean... The Say family? I don't know who the Say family is. The Kuhn family. Are you... A son of... The family head, by any chance? Look, Astrid, was it? Mm -hmm. You can tell she's happy you remembered her name. The reason that you're trying to get so close and buddy-buddy with me is because of connection to the Kuhn family. You can turn around and go back to your room. I have and want nothing to do with the Kuhn family or their head. Never have, never will. And as far as I'm concerned, 
They're about some of the lowest people in this entire tower. What gave you that impression? I was simply asking about you. Isn't that what people do when they first meet each other? But I'm sorry, you're right. I'll uh, head back to my room then, but there will be dancing tomorrow. And it is tradition for the daughter of the Lindquist family to be the first to enter the dance floor. And Sounds great. One of the suitors. I hope, uh, I hope you find someone to dance with. <laughs> Bro, we can we can block Shion if you like. <laughs> she won't see a thing. <laughs> I am looking very much forward to tomorrow. And she gives you a wink, a nice slow wink. Good night. And she slowly walks back to her room. People are disgusting. And with that, Zhang heads back to his room. Okay. I'm gonna say that you all eventually make it back to your rooms. We're gonna end that night with you all sleeping. And Eden, when you enter the room, Shion is there, mm -hmm. but she's just curled up in bed. Eden doesn't say a word and she picks a bed for herself. Okay. The night goes by and you all end up having a pretty, uh, Decent sleep, I would say, uh, overall. You're very exhausted from everything that's been happening. And when you wake up, it's gonna be around, we'll say 10 a.m. We'll say, it, these beds just lured you right in. It's super easy to sleep in. And when you wake up, you uh, see your, the people in your room. You also know, have messages on your pocket that were sent to you uh, from the butler, Taryn. This dude. And this dude, and he this is dude. telling you to meet up at your rooms at one o'clock to prepare for the banquet. Don't tell me what to do, Taryn. Where's my wine, Taryn? <laughs> got my wine, Taryn. Wine in the morning. <laughs> Mimosas. I, you have like- Exactly. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's morning wine time. Yeah, I have my own wine, but I want their yeah. house in with time. <laughs> Look, we are going to run the cabinets as long as we're here, okay? I want everything they own. <laughs> Brack wakes up, goes to the edge of the bed, realized that the bed was actually big enough to hold him and his legs wasn't dangling off, like, at the, at the knee. <laughs> Smiles brightly, looks over. He sees Sil Young still lying down. Sil Young slowly getting up. It's like, mm -hmm. good morning, Young. And then he <laughs> looks over at Laura. He smiles at her, big grin. Yo. Laura. <laughs> had a good time last night with Wu. Uh, the, uh, yeah. Paint the halls white. <laughs> and he just leaves it alone. Oh, man. It's a good day to be Oh, man. We had a very nice time. We really did. That's good. I think day. you probably had a more fun time than us. Ah. <sighs> This is just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just so good. <laughs> ah, now it's time for breakfast. Still young, slowly uh, gets out of bed. <sighs> breakfast? Yes, breakfast. The most important meal of the day. More important than lunch, brunch, and dinner, and dinner lunch. Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If it's not too much to ask, could I have some scrambled eggs? You can get whatever you want. Whatever you want. Ha! Huh? Ah! Uh, what the? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> <He's dead. laughs> uh, oh, no one man. comes when you do that. <laughs> oh, the bell must be broken. <laughs> what a shame. Brack struggles to figure out how to get in contact with uh with the uh, uh uh Terrence until Laura he realizes oh, oh Laura helps. Okay, yeah, so Laura yeah. helps and then I go, uh Terrence. <clears throat> uh it's Terran. Terran? <laughs> Man, you look like a Terrence, but Terran, let's <laughs> please. Um this morning we would like a feast. Not just any feast. A feast with scrambled eggs, finest scrambled eggs. We would like them to come from the best 
the best Shinhui of the tower. And um, I'm feeling pancakes, French toast, and uh, what would you like, Laura? That sounds just fine to me. Pancakes, French toast, the finest bacon that you can get from Falanga, got that going crystal, crystal bane, and uh, bring me some mm-hmm. meat. As I want to try that. Them. As you wish. <laughs> and within like 10 minutes, you receive everything that you ordered. Thank you, my friends. Of course. Today we dine other? like we've never dined before. We have us a nice feast <laughs> prepared right in front of us. But just eat. <laughs> so, oh, young, man. my boy, go ahead and dine on your scrambled eggs. Laura, here you go. Uh, uh, there's your pancakes. <laughs> and let us. Oh, oh what's going on here? <laughs> I know that Brack is just running his own empire in his room. <laughs> <laughs> this is just part of the syndicate expansion, dude. Yeah, true. It's all part of the syndicate expansion. <laughs> I'm so jealous. John, we could have been in that room, too. Well, you could have, yeah. We could have. The two no, of us no, could. No, 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 you could have. <laughs> and then we just proceed just to dying. eat our food. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> you spend a lot of the morning doing that. Uh, even when you wake up, you don't see Shion kind of rolls her eyes and gets out of bed and gets ready. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. You, you just, All of you received the same text message about preparing at one o'clock. Mm-hmm. You hear a knock on the door. Whoa. Go ahead. Uh, no, go for it. Go for it. Uh, just, just should be brief. You hear a knock on the door. Hello? Chong, we're under attack! This is on Eden's door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, who's the door again? <laughs> uh, she goes over and answers it. It's Victor. Hey. Mm. Hey. How'd you sleep? Surprisingly well, and I don't know how to feel about that. I know. I slept in longer than I normally do. Oh, those beds were too comfy. They were. I hope we weren't cursed. <laughs> <laughs> this whole place feels cursed. <laughs> True. And the worst part is, I can't, and he tries, you know, there's the barrier. Mm-hmm. Can't seem to uh, enter. I know. It's I know. Shame. This has been a theme on this floor, and I don't like it. Yeah. But I believe you can leave your room. Just a suggestion. What makes you say that as she steps through? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yep. He, he, you know, he uh, greets you and, and uh, is happy to see you once again. And mm-hmm. uh, he basically wants to spend the, the morning with you. And she happily does. Okay, cool. Um, John and Damien. Yes. What do you feel like eating, best buddy? Damien, you have a bit of a hangover, by the way. How do you feel like eating, best buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm hearing my voice hurts. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is it wait? So are they, are they are they bringing breakfast to everybody's rooms, or was that just a like? That was a that was a brack order. That was a bro. brack. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> right. They defer to your judgment, your culinary judgment, John. And when when Damien says <laughs> yep. that specifically, Jean starts thinking. I'll be right back. And he gets up and walks out of the room. Okay. Uh, Joe, is there a kitchen nearby? Can I? There can is. I? Okay. It'll Might take I? Take a while to get there, though. Okay. Like, like we don't have time for that. A while. We can. It just probably take like half an hour to walk there. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You walk through a little ways. Um, I'm gonna say you catch a glimpse of Victor and Eden, like laughing and talking. So I'm assuming you head the opposite direction. Uh, yeah, he and spits you... in that direction and then walks the other <laughs> way. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. <laughs> forgot, sorry, I forgot that detail. Uh, and you eventually do find the kitchen. It's in the basement. Okay. Um, can you I see roll? all the maids cooking. 
Can I roll for, uh, I don't know which one of these you'd want me to roll for, either stealth or sleight of hand, but I want to go into the kitchen and I want to steal some food, some like raw food. Okay. And bring it back to my room. Um, Roll stealth and then sleight of hand. Roll stealth and, okay. Let's do well, the stealth part do first as you try to enter without being seen. Okay, okay, okay. This man mansion is humongous. It is very Ooh, Dirty huge. 20. Oh, I'm in, bro. I'm dirty in 20. Okay. Right. They're very busy. You can tell they're shouting orders and there's just, you know, plates being, you know, scrambled, uh, you know, plates being prepared and all this stuff. So you barely able okay. to sneak in. And then you said I can roll side of hand now for? Yes. Okay. There's chunks of meat, Moby Bane meat, all kinds of stuff laying around. It's all we have on this floor, Snake. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's man. It's a delicate seed. Uh, 15. Uh, okay. You are able to swipe it with no problems. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to take the food back to my room where Damien right. is. You enter. Damien? Damien, I Jolene? never thought I'd ask this, but I need you to start a small fire. Small <laughs> fire. Very, very small. Yeah, let me just get on that. I just have my hand on my head. <laughs> I get my, I get my fr my little uh, frog, my yep. little frog torch thing. Harry Spellgirl used you to like start well. barbecues. <laughs> I get my frog. Harry <laughs> Spellgirl just propping him up right now, dude. Yeah, he's, <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> like, Come on, buddy. You've shaken off worse than this. <laughs> I, get, I get my 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 uh, frog portable stove out. <laughs> And my and my frog uh, frying yeah. pan. It's like, is this? Will this be good? Is this everything you need? Uh, yeah, that should work. And you notice that when as Zhang is prepping the food, he's doing it with like very, very like lightning fast accuracy. Like this is not the first time that he's prepped a meal before by hand. Okay. I say to Harry, "Well, he's really good at that." <laughs> hey. <laughs> Roll survival for me. We'll do. We'll do. 16. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you prepare it very well. It's a it's it's cooking great. Damien, you smell it just in the air and you you cook some very good meat. Jean very ends nice. up making two plates, one for him and one for Damien. There. I promise you it'll be way better than any of the garbage we've eaten on any of these floors so far. Oh, thanks, man. You've been really holding on for four years. You're right. Jong's never had cooking duty. <laughs> uh, okay. And then we're going to cut to Wu's room. Uh, you don't see Victor. Yeah, no, he's been gone. Uh, so in our room, you see Mizaru doing Leaf's hair. Aww. Aww. And I'm just kind of laying in bed. Leaf, what do you think about Laura? Laura? She's really sweet. That's what I thought too, but something doesn't feel right. Like what? I don't know, I thought you'd know. You're a good judge of people. I mean, at the very least, she seems like she enjoys being with you. Yeah, but what if she's not the right one? Or what if she's trying to use this for something? I mean, it is a I little weird that you ran into her again. Right? I'm not the only one that thinks that. Whatever, don't say anything to the others. I just... Yeah. Just don't let me do anything stupid. Okay. You're still holding on to uh, the past? Don't say anything about that leaf. We talked about this. I know. I know you think you're super insightful and you know everything, but you don't know everything. Well, I thought I was going to offer you some advice, but I guess I won't. You've given me all the... You know what? Mizaru, I think she wanted a French braid today instead of what, what? she normally goes what? for. No, How not... about you get I... inventive? <laughs> Mizaru just starts laughing and enjoying the... the <laughs> Her hair starts turning into a mess. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say that you all are spending time doing all these things, um, and eventually it's getting close to one. 
And at this point, a maid, two maids per room has approached each of your rooms and they're carrying stacks of clothing. These are your garments that you will wear for tonight's feast. All of those? Indeed. I'm not wearing this. These are kind of clean. All of the boys, <laughs> it's tailored perfectly for you. You're wearing like tuxedos that look sharp, uh, freshly ironed, and they, they look quite nice. And for all the ladies, beautiful dresses of varying colors to choose from. Man, Jong, this actually feels pretty nice. <laughs> um, <coughs> this is disgusting. <coughs> May I ask if it would be possible for me to, uh, what is the correct term that we would use? Uh, free ball it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, uh, I'm afraid. <laughs> the, maid, the maid looks at you. I, I don't follow. Free, I've um, never heard that term. Free ball? Um, let's just say that undergarments and these pants, giving you know, my stature, they are quite snug. <laughs> so I would require to remove them. <laughs> but do we gotta give back these suits is my question. She thinks for a second, looks at the other maid, and they start whispering to each other. These are yours to keep. A gift. Okay. <laughs> then, <laughs> then forget everything I said. Then. I will... <laughs> I will do as I please. <laughs> yeah. I'll go back towards oh the room to change. Yep. <laughs> oh. Okay. The brackness of that moment. <laughs> back to it at all times. <laughs> For real. <laughs> okay. Uh, Eden, which color dress do you pick? She is gonna pick... Uh... She's gonna pick black. A black dress. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Can I talk to you... David before we go. Yes. I'm gonna say like while you know you're like you're kind of getting everything figured out when it comes to the outfit. Hey, hey, what's, what's, what's what's going on? I need you to play this song from your lighthouse. Oh. <laughs> Did he send it to Joe? No, I'm sending it to you. No, he can't play. It's copyright. <laughs> oh, no. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like really expecting you to play it. <laughs> no, no, no. This is just us, brother. We can't ask for that extra man, Joe. The, the other Joe that we don't know about. He, he's not here. Um, I don't exist. <laughs> yeah, just um, when I when I when I give you the cue, just play this. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. No problem. Cool. I can do that. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, so you're all preparing. The maids are making sure everything is right. The measurements and everything. Putting on the dresses and the suits. And uh, this is taking quite a while because they're kind of measuring it, realizing they have to go back, and they're asking for your suggestions. So at this time, if anyone wants to customize their suit Aww. or their dress, this is the time. The maids are waiting to hear your approval. Do you want my, you want me to go first? Sure. This okay. is very important. Yes, it is. I like uh, how you're holding the... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, does ready. Brack need to go first with his... Oh, no, 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 go ahead, go first, go ahead, go okay, first. Okay, okay. Go for it, go for it. Um, Eden is going to go for a very form-fitting black dress. Okay. Um... That is like a swoop neck with like but kind I'm of like a notes. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, like a style neck with like Got the measurements. That and is. then it's going so to describe be, the curves for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna at the bottom. It's going to ombre up with like lots of sparkles, and then up to the top uh, in the bust area. Uh, so it's gonna be kind of like sh uh, shimmery at the top, and then super sparkly at the bottom. Yep. Um, and then uh, she's gonna get a, a, a hair piece that's going to like have flowers incorporated into it on the side and she's gonna wear her hair up 
in a, in a bun with her little side pieces that are normally braided, her ombre hair normally braided, but yep. they're going to be, they're going to be curled with like uh, sparkly okay. barrettes on the other side. Great. Damn. That's, That's why good. I had to go first. And then the shoes Ooh. she's going to wear, she's going to wear these very uh, black stilettos with a uh, sparkly strap across the front. That's so lit. Uh, I'm inspired. I got a, I got a fit. I got a fit. <laughs> All right, what's up? You want to take my measurements, bro? They're taking all your right. measurements. All right, but uh, let me get a, let me get an all white suit, pants, and jacket, um, with a, with a with a gold vest and a and a gold bow tie, and then I want uh, cowboy white stilettos right. on the feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just and with, the little, with the little star joints on the on the back, you know. The, the little thing. Yeah, yeah. I forgot one very yeah. small important detail. Uh, he yeah. has a thigh high slit in the dress. Ooh, now you going next level? Okay, and uh, I, I, got, I got a cigar. I got a cigar too. Uh, I got a cigar too. Who's yeah. and, I, and I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> so okay they start right. with the tuxedos right. but yeah they're getting more complicated yes Brack? all right so who we'll kind of stole my design a little bit but <laughs> but but <laughs> but i could make it with me brother run it yeah, with me. you can't wear the same thing at prom <laughs> sorry yeah I, I, I run it in my head but it, all right so rock wants uh it's a, kind of an all white suit, but it's the white suit jacket and uh, the white slacks. He want white Stacy Adams uh, okay. dress shoes. If they could find them in like a size 45, but <laughs> then <laughs> on top of that, uh, for the undershirt, he wanted Wait, to be black. Wait, is that canon? Huh? What's, your, what, what's, your, what's, your, what's, your shoe, what's your shoe size? What's the canon? <laughs> 45. <laughs> So you're shorter than Bulwark, but your feet are bigger than Wait, his? Wait, actually, Bulwark <laughs> No, I'm talking to Bulwark. Yeah, he is taller than I'm talking to Bulwark. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you All still right. got fucking bigger than Sora feet. Those are some clown shoes, <laughs> right there. They're like, what is that? <laughs> I'm a big boy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's bigger than Sora. Uh, a right, black uh, dress shirt. Um, oh, man. Uh, it, it's all black, but it has like kind of like very, very dark gray like stripes going down it and it's kind of like patterned and suede and for his suit pocket he want to make sure that he has like a red like handkerchief coming out of it and right. he got like the syndicate cufflinks for his <laughs> <laughs> for his dress shirt and he looking dapper he in the mirror he looking at himself he like yeah, yeah it matches the hair <laughs> 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 my man had custom. <laughs> All right, me. perfect. Mine, mine will be very quick. Uh, right. I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm Dracula from Castlevania, but I'm also trying to be, I'm trying to be in disguise. So I have. Well, you I got have, the cape. I have a baseball hat that has the syndicate <laughs> logo on it and sunglasses. <laughs> Are you drinking Mountain Dew too? Like what is no. going on? Right? <laughs> this game. Yeah. Man. But yeah, I have I have a long black and red cape. <laughs> oh shit. And long boots with with heels on them. Very fancy. Oh, okay. And then I and then I have fake vampire teeth in my mouth as well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Yep. Jong. Oh man. All right, I have all you beat on time. John would have wore literally whatever they gave him, but just threw away the bow tie. Okay, got it. Tuxedo without a bow tie. All right, cool. Just straight up. All right, cool. Uh, you all are getting prepared and ready, getting everything figured out. I'm not gonna be nearly as detailed with the NPCs, I apologize, but you can use your imagination. I'll give a very brief description. All right, so. You all finally finish preparing at 6 p.m. It's 5.55, we'll say, and the maids and Taryn is going back and forth. They're saying it's time to enter the ballroom. Damon, are you ready with the track? Wait, I don't, hang on, there's, there's a lot of pockets in here. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right, good. All right. You all end up meeting up outside of the door and you get a just a glimpse, a quick glimpse at everyone else and what they're wearing. Um, 
Uh, so Victor's wearing kind of similar to Jung, actually, where he didn't actually change much of what they gave him. But, but some slight adjustments. <laughs> right. Of course he did. Uh, rolled up <laughs> sleeves um, and a blue handkerchief uh, in his pocket. Um, and Leaf is wearing a yellow dress. Uh, lots of flowers uh, on, you know, adorned on the dress and in her hair. Um, Shion is wearing a blue dress. Uh, very uh, modest looking dress. It's not poofy, you know, anything. Very simple. Very she went for the very yep. simple. <laughs> <You're like, laughs> Less is more. Yeah, is yeah. Very simple design. Very simple design. Um, but she does have a like a, a white hair piece um, in her hair. And earrings. That's all right. She's still a ten. Anyway. <laughs> Um, but you notice that uh, that Laura is actually wearing a tuxedo and not a dress. So she came with the tie. God damn. Uh, and did not choose does to it, wear the dress. Does it look good? All right, that's of course it, it looks, looks good. And it's it's she has this like orange theme to to the uh, the tuxedo. Oh, she's sexy, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no. I'd like to request that Shion wears a suit, just randomly. <laughs> You're like, just a second discussion. ago, you said 10 out of 10. Come on now. <laughs> That's before I knew we were putting out suits, man. No, 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 no. no. Let your girl rock her style. Don't worry about it. kind of classy, so I can see it. It's all good. And you all are kind of looking at each other. Do you want to just quickly comment on your looks before you enter? What about Silly Young? Oh, oh yeah. Where, what is he? Oh, yeah. wearing? The boy. He's wearing black and white, like robe. Like the same thing he wears. It's just yeah. He's still he, wearing the same <laughs> scarf too. He yeah. did so take the scarf off. He's wearing it's a, a simple dress shirt. It's just a dress shirt like you'd wear to just a normal kind of gathering. Uh, okay. A long mm -hmm. sleeve, light blue, but he does have the same scarf mm -hmm. and the, the the wrist bracelet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, that that don't makes know. sense. It's makes all sense. That tracks, that tracks, that tracks. He, he very simple, like to dress down. Yeah, yes. it makes sense. Yes. All right, can I play my song? Time? Do you want to do it as you enter? Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right, the ballroom doors enter, and you see a long table with tons of people sitting at it. Damien, the music brother. Yeah, no problem. Hey, let, let me just hurry, Slugger. Do activate operation three. <laughs> Bryce Felker follows your order. I swear I got like headphones on and whatnot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Sunglasses. And then you hear, then you hear, we are the champions by Queen start playing. <laughs> oh, as we no. walk. <laughs> as we walk. <laughs> Fair oh, enough. That, that is priceless. It suddenly starts echoing throughout the ballroom and everyone just kind of turns and stares as everyone walks in. And I have my hands outstretched, you know what I'm saying? Just looking at Leaf, just like, just nodding at him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And you notice Shion is like really embarrassed as she's walking in. <laughs> she's super embarrassed. You, you can tell partially because of the dress, but mostly because of the music. Uh, you all enter, and you notice that there are some empty seats at the table, reserved near the heads of the Lindquist family. And so, you see Lord Signe, Astrid, and Leaf. You see someone else you don't recognize with dirty blonde hair. And then you see someone else you don't recognize with really long hair and a big bushy beard. And next to them are 10 seats. And then mm. everyone else is a bunch of people you haven't met, you haven't met yet. Wait, so where, what are the seating arrangements like? Are we all going to sit at the same table? Yeah, it's like one long table. And nice they're at the end. To my lord? <laughs> the closest? So that'd be next to uh, the kid that you haven't met yet, or the guy with the bushy beard? I want to sit closer to Leaf than her. <laughs> so you're going to sit next to the guy with the bushy beard. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right. I'm just going to say everyone sits down. Overall, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. The guy goes, hm, "You're the champion, huh?" Well, the last one wasn't clearly up to par. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> he starts laughing, <laughs> slamming the table. <laughs> Brock whispers to so Young. I think they're crazy. They're laughing <laughs> maniacally over there. Seal Young is just sweating bullets right now. 
Um, you all take a seat, and then Lord Signe stands up and taps her wine glass. A toast. And she raises it into the air. To all of our guests. Especially, and she nods to all of you, the champions who will be undertaking our test. To you. And everyone raises their wine glasses and then drinks from the wine. Right now, it's just wine at the table. No food yet. This is superb. I want to say that Brock stands up. He looks over to my lord. He goes, my lord, I'm so sorry that I was so disrespectful given your hospitality towards me earlier this day. I am so sorry. And may you please accept your humble servant's bow. And he just bows towards her and sit back down. <laughs> and then he just whispers back to Seo Young. See, that is how you get, that is how you get these kind of people to kind of like forgive you. But I don't think she's really going to forgive me. I think she's going to look at me like I'm crazy. And then, and then she'll just leave it alone. But look at how I'm dressed. She might, she just might, she just she, might. She, you notice she seems pleased with that and smiles and kind of nods to you. And she just kind of, yeah. I look at her I'm like, oh, she's that easy. Brack, Brack picks up his glass <laughs> and he goes. <laughs> he just goes. <laughs> I told you so, y'all. I said she might, but she did. As, as my good friend, as my good friend Brack has said, we are delighted to be in your presence, Lord. And I kind of give her a look deeply in her eyes. I know you are. Thank you very much. And she looks around the table. You haven't met my brother, the one sitting next to you, Wu. This is my brother, Roar. Ha 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 ha! He slams the table again. I am Roar. Good to meet you. He looks at you, Wu. He's a big uh, guy, you, looking down at you. Now you seem like someone I would get along with, and I grab my drink and, <laughs> and toast it to him. To you, my friend! And he just absolutely swigs it, starts pouring more wine. We knock it back, and I grab his shoulder, and we just start laughing heartily. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> this whole time, by the way, Brack, you're whispering to Sil Young and saying all these things. He hasn't responded once. He's just staring straight ahead. I look, uh, I look back down at him before you hurry up and get yeah. past that. I look back down at him. I go, uh, Sil Young, you're looking kind of pale there, my buddy. Um, what, what, what's going on? Nothing, nothing. Everything's fine. I, I told you, just... calm, calm down, calm down. I can hear it in your voice. I can hear the hesitation. I can hear the stress. You got me by your side. I am your protector. You are to be protected by me, Sir Brack the Third. Yes. The third? <laughs> Your protector. <laughs> Shwo. The third. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brad. I sincerely appreciate that kindness. <laughs> and you have yet to meet my... my other son. And she looks at the child at the table. I say child, he's probably like 12 years old, 13. Dirty blonde hair, and you notice he has two robots. And he's like... And he's kind of crashing them into each other. Not oh, at the this table, is the... sweetheart. So this is the kid that doesn't leave his room. Oh. Indeed. But we're working on it, aren't we, Bo? Nothing to work on. Bo, you're doing great, my boy. As a matter of fact, never leave your room. Mm -hmm. I see it, son. Nice maneuvers. <laughs> he just kind of looks over at you and then continues to start playing. <laughs> <laughs> Bo is a sweet boy. And she looks around the table. Who else haven't you met? Ah! And one of the guests who isn't a member of the Linkus family who is sitting, like, you know, further past you all, but next to your group, is a tall, very thin man with his hair slicked back, black slick hair. He's wearing a tuxedo. He has these white gloves and like a really long nose. I'm not sure if you've met this individual. This is an acquaintance of our family, Bill A. Bartimus II. <gasps> it, ah! Excuse you know what? me? That's about right. You said who? Why, this is Bill A. Bartimus II. You mean it? Cut the music, <laughs> Mr. Bill. 
Please, please come forward. <laughs> he just eyes you. Excuse me? Is that the same bill? <laughs> it's his dad. This is oh, Billy Barnum's yeah, third. Oh, yeah, my, 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 my good yeah. man. Um, do you have some sort of crazy drug empire? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe start there. with hello. <laughs> Oh, Damien is just looking at the camera. <laughs> he scooches his chair out and slowly walks over to Signe and they start, he whispers to her. Uh -oh. And then he sits back down. Yikes. Champion, I would ask that you treat our guests with respect. Oh, no, 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 my lord, please do forgive me. I just, maybe I came out of out of turn. Uh, Mr. Bill A. the second, I was just curious if you had a feckless son who did nothing more than prey on the weak and innocent with their potions. That is more tax, actually. He takes his wine, swishes it, takes like the tiniest little sip. And why would you ask that question? Well, and then I kind of like nudge Leaf out of her seat. Your son took it upon himself to seduce this poor young girl here into who knows what sort of sick and twisted experiments for you and your company's <laughs> benefit. Yeah, yeah, that, that did happen. Leaf, Le Le don't say anything. Don't talk to him. He's as sick as his son. <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is that you need to take better care of who you have in your company because some of us might be more than you bargained for, my love. I see you've met my son. That disgraceful sack of scum. Son? Oh, cool, he's on board. Someone who couldn't even make it past the second floor. Son? My Would son you? is worthless. And he has been disowned. I no longer David. have a son. How close? How close am I? Hot table talk, real quick. How close am I to hear what the second is saying, uh, Brack? You can definitely hear it. I can hear it. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, second. If I call you my lord, my lord. Second. Um, <laughs> would you mind? Putting out a hit on your son with the syndicate. <laughs> we Why? would we would just, you know, require a, a small stipend in order for us to get this up and going. And we can find him. And you can really not have a son, you know, not just emotionally, but <laughs> physically. So just let us know. And then I look up, I shoot a glance over to Damien. I'm rubbing my hands. <laughs> Oh my God. I give him a worried thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This this toot this vampire with a baseball hat and a sunglasses <laughs> just gave you a thumbs up. <laughs> my son has been disowned until he can prove his worth to the family. If he can, he will be welcomed back with open arms. And his worth is recruiting hapless individuals into your weird experiments, am I correct? He looks at you, Wu. And even though I his face smile, is really I poker, smile, I just cheese him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just smiling. He stares at you, and he doesn't blink. Oh. Anyway, my lord, I'm sure he's a devout servant. I'm not concerned with him. How am I, Mr. Second? <laughs> But let's get on with the festivities. Signe looks a bit, she didn't expect any of this to happen, but she continues on. And at this point, you see Jan Milla walk into the room wearing a pink dress. And she says, she's about to take a seat at the end of the table, but then Lady Signe, or Lord Signe says, no, 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 no. And she motions Milla, who sighs, but puts on a smile and walks. And a chair is prepared at the end of the table next to Signe. Thank you, my lord. And she oh. smiles. I'm assuming you all remember Lady Milla. And then Milla says, please, it's just Milla. 
Mila kind of looks at you, Eden, for a second. And then you notice she's looking at this vampire with sunglasses and the baseball hat. <laughs> and I slump into my chair. How do you do? <laughs> it is a pleasure being here. Thank you for having start, me. I start covering myself with my bib. Bib? Is Damien sitting like next to Eden? Um. <laughs> That's us say near, yeah, sure. We'll see. Eden reaches down and grabs Damien's hand and like, is like, sit up. Like, says very quietly under her breath, sit up. I don't wanna. Sit up. I don't wanna. Damien, please. This is no. <laughs> I grab whatever's on the food and I start eating it. <laughs> food starts being prepared now. All kinds of appetizers and bread and wine. Lots and lots of wine that just tastes phenomenal. Lord Signet, where's your son? He is there. He is uh, at the end of the table as well. And Leaf is wearing a green. So uh, you know what? Actually, I forgot about this. He isn't wearing a suit. He's wearing his uh, his outfit. There How does this dude get away with that? Dressed for the, faci- Ugh. the festivities? Except, that's not. You would have thought he would be the first one to, uh, you know, partake in, in said things. What makes you say that, champion? Well, I'm just wondering if we should be wary of an attack is all. I mean, you're in full armor and we're sitting here in our, our Sunday best. Well, I understand why you'd be afraid of the hero like me. Well, nobody said I was afraid of you is what you're afraid of, my boy, that I'm curious about. I am the hero of Muji. I must always be prepared to fight injustice. I'm like the hero of wasting everybody's time. And then justice is your outfit. <clears throat> so yeah, how are you <laughs> excuse, oh excuse me, my lord, I shouldn't lose my decorum. It's just that your son has such fanciful tales. <laughs> he truly is one of a kind. And he smiles at that. And you notice Astrid is wearing an outfit, a long white dress <laughs> that is quite revealing. Let's say that. Oh, Don't boy. tell me she out here looking like the princess of Cornelia. Yo, I'm a loser. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Just saying, bro, now, like now, now she on is actually present, so you can't trip. You can't trip. <laughs> <laughs> and this whole time, Jong, she's just staring at you. And Jong is staring straight into that glass of wine that he's got in front of him. <laughs> sure, sure. Never, he's never admired wine so much in his entire existence than right now. <laughs> because he's also low-key embarrassed at everything that the party has been saying. <laughs> sure, sure. And at that, you know, and you know, some of you notice Signe kind of looking back and forth and back and forth between you two. And she says, I'm very curious to know what the Kuhn family is like. I've only heard stories, but I've never met anyone from the family. Oh, well, wow. you got Victor right here. He's uh, quite well known when it comes to the good old Kuhn family. Isn't that right, Victor? I wouldn't say that, but uh, I've been around, sure. But you know, I think Jong would be the better person to talk about our family. Isn't that right, Jong? Piss off, Kuhn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my lord. It appears my dear brother is not exactly willing to divulge any information. You see, he's a bit like a cactus at times. Prickly and hard to cooperate with. And she... You're unsure of how she'll react to that, but she <laughs> chuckles. Oh, very funny. Oh, uh, about the test, uh, this is all fun and everything, you know, but uh, we're here for a reason. And I'm sure you guys had an excellent time toying with us last night. And I glance <laughs> over to leave. He gives you a big old grin. And then Astrid says, oh, did you have problems with the test? Well, you it know. wasn't even really a test. It was really more of a, a courtesy for us to help you with your room decision. 
Well, I appreciate the help. Eden rolls Isn't that right, guys? Big time at that. <laughs> Don't we appreciate the help? Y'all are so kind. But I don't think you would like it if we became equally as a kind, would you? I'm sorry. I'm just, that? I'm just looking at, I'm just looking at Leaf the whole time. Sure, sure. Sorry, but what did you say though? I missed that last part. Oh, I said you wouldn't appreciate it if we became equally as kind. Oh, uh huh. He's, he's smiling, but kind of thinking about what you're saying. You can tell. And then you notice that Bo stopped playing with his toys and is looking down the table. For a second, you're unsure who he's looking at. But then he he starts giggling and he takes a glass of wine, scooches out and he runs over to Sil Young and dumps the wine on him. <laughs> and Sil Young just kind of reacts. Eden reactively grabs his hand before he can pull back. <laughs> Can I like use my lighthouse to, to to stop that from happening, or? I I'm gonna say no. It probably happened a little too. It quick. happened, but you can uh, react, react to it, bro. We'll just say I'm so slumped on the. On, I'm basically under. The yeah, table. you're out of it. Yeah. Eden, don't get him. Don't let him or, bullshit. No, Eden is or, like gripping or, his like his wrist area like very hey, tightly. Hey, that hurts! And and Lord Cena gets up. Let go of him this instant. What do you mean? No, squeeze him harder. No, like she she has him tied, but she's she's not like breaking his arm. Ow, 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 mommy, mommy. You're, and and Eden looks at him. You're fine, darling. And from one from one mother to another, you should teach your child better manners. And she lets him go. Roll okay, before you do, I'm gonna have you roll a dexterity saving throw. Alright. Let's go. We just gonna step over that, huh? Damn. Uh, dexterity saving throw, that's gonna be a 22. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. You're able to react just in time, but suddenly someone breaks the two of you up and pushes Bo away from you, pulls Bo away from you. It happened in a flash. Uh -huh. uh, and you see Terran holding Bo. <sighs> and he starts patting him down. I think it's time for this child to go back to his room for the evening. I believe you are speaking out of turn, Miss Eden. And if you say one more word, there'll be consequences. We are the champions. <laughs> we are the champions. Eden's eyes are blazing red. My apologies, my So Young says, I'm so, I'm so sorry. So Young. I'm so, so sorry. Young, you have nothing to apologize for. So Young. Excuse us for a moment. And Eden Calm grabs So Young by the arm, takes him by the arm and walks out to help him get cleaned up. So that's how you treat guests my lord. I thought I told you, and she smiles. Gray is family. So that's how you treat your family, huh? That's not surprising. Well, that is what family means. Children to me, love to play with one another. Bo is simply wanting to play with his old friend. But so young isn't a child. So young is a grown man. And this little child just treated a grown man as if it as if he was his plaything. Now Let I appreciate the clear. hospitality that you gave me, which Let's... is stopping me from running rampant in this whole entire room. I've been treated the best here that I've ever been treated in my life. But should something like this happen again to the one that I am scheduled to protect in this moment, I shall slaughter everyone here. Rack, we not signing up for your death game. Look, Everyone's staring. <laughs> Sil Silyong, are you okay? So he's walking out with Eden right now. Oh, uh, he got out. okay. Well then, I'm sorry, my lord. We won't speak out of turn again. She smiles this kind of like wicked smile, closed mouthed. Taryn. She motions him forward and she whispers into his ear and he bows and then leaves the room. There will be consequences. For what just happened. I hope you understand. And with that, Victor kind of looks towards where Eden left and he slowly gets up and walks out. Consequences now, like what? My lord, let's not do anything hasty. We're still your honored guest, are we not? And what kind of guests are you to abuse my son? Come here, Bo. Abuse? Bo, Bo runs up to her and he's crying. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. 
If you want to see abuse, I can go get my harpoon right now and give him a couple of matches. I was going to say, dude, fuck this kid, dude. I'm rolling acrobatics to jump right in between them. <laughs> Wait, in between what? Sig Day and Bo? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord. Can I steal the hug? All right, I'm going to have to do something. Oh, we are gonna be in so much trouble. We're that's in a, so much that's trouble. A, that's a, <laughs> we are, yeah, exactly. That's a, that's a fifteen plus six. Ooh. What do you want to do? I just want to jump in front of them before they have the hug, and I'm gonna gently grab Bo, and I'll be like, "Look, you're not completely in charge here." And I'm gonna slightly shuttle him over to his mom. Hold up, is Leaf still in the room? High table talk. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. Bo, make, right make a deck save, Wu. Oh no! Bo, won't uh, you get the hug from. Well, no. Turn uh, intercepted Bo, the assassin butler. Fourteen. <laughs> Wait, what do I? What do, what do I add to deck save? Just my dex? Yeah, Is unless you're right? proficient in it, in that yeah, saving throw, and then you add another plus two. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, I'm not, but it's still sixteen. So, as soon as you say that, a slash flies by you, and you react just in time to dodge the attack, and you recognize this attack from when you voiced something unpleasant in front of Leaf's presence. And you look over, mm -hmm. and he hasn't moved from the table, but he's looking at you. And I mean no harm to your brother or your mother, just let me speak for He a gets second. up and walks up to you. If you want to fight me, you're always welcome. Sir Double L. Oh, don't, he says, shh, don't touch my brother. I'm sorry, but he touched my friend. Am I supposed to make special treatment for your little brother? Are you going to do that for me? No, I didn't think so. Now, carry him along, bank him, clean him, whatever you need to do. I have bigger things to talk about here, my boy. Mother, I have one request. We do not need to punish these individuals for what happened tonight. On one condition, if they accept. And he picks up a, bo a bottle of wine. And he kind of eyebrows you, Wu. You, you don't mind, do you? We'll forget this ever happened. If what? We drink together and call it a day? Let's just say, I'm the one that taught Bo much of what he knows. He That's accepts a shame. just a little, just a simple act of whatever you'd like to call it. He's motioning as if he wants to throw some wine in your face. Do you accept? So you want me to embarrass myself for your own amusement and then everything will go away. Mother said, right mother? And she nods. If you don't accept this, we're going to put harsh restrictions on your test. Is that You haven't you even do? told us what the test looks like. But no, you know what? Normally, my friend, Leaf, and I kind of step into his face. I, and I, I, I whisper very closely. You can try and get him off me with a roll if you want to. He does not. He leans in well, close I to you, too. I want that. Normally, I, want that. I would never let you embarrass me, you incompetent buffoon. But since you're gonna be my son one day, why not? I've already put my friends through enough, and I'm not that stupid or arrogant to incur your mother's wrath before she gets to know me. What will you have to save face here after you do what it is you're gonna do? Nothing, look like an arrogant child. If you will, my lord. Then I kind of back up and let him do whatever he wants. He stares at you for like 20 seconds. He reaches into the wine glass with his fingers, walks up to you, and just flicks the wine into your face. And I just lick it from, like, as it dribbles down my face, I just lick it up <laughs> and smile at him. Oh my He, he smiles back. He's giving you a big old grin. And then he walks back to his chair. I almost broke my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> And when you, delicious. when you sit down, Wu, uh, Roar tries to put his hand on your shoulder. 
Do you I kind of tap. I, I ta yeah, I tap in on top of my shoulder. Is this about the wine you promised? He's gripping you extremely tightly. Is this about the wine you promised, good it's, sir? It's starting to really hurt. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying what I'm gonna just smile at him and say the same thing. Is this about the wine you promised? He just starts chuckling and then slaps you on the back really, really hard. Uh, kind of knocks the wind out of you for a second, but you, you know, don't really show it. <laughs> Be careful who you strike, my friend. You've got you spunk! I'll give happen. you that, champion. Hmm? What was that? Sorry, you're hard of hearing. Continue about your business. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Eden, you are with Still Young? Eden, it's fine, really. No, hey, look. They used to do it to me all the time. It's no problem. It's fine. That doesn't make it right. A child his age should have much better manners than that. You don't understand. I understand how children no, should don't. act. Yes, I do. I was the court jester. They did all kinds of things to me. It's only natural that they'd want to do it again. Sil Young, when you're at functions like that, and you are on the team of the, quote, champions, you are no longer the court jester. You are no longer their plaything, and you will no longer ever be their plaything. Treat yourself with some respect. Hold your head up high. The sins of their past do not need to carry any further. And the abuse you suffered makes my blood boil. So, we are going to march right back in there now that you're cleaned up. And we're going to beat this test so badly, House Lindquist is going to have to fold. And who knows? Maybe you'll be the new head of House Lindquist. What? And then you'll get to do whatever you want, and you can dump all the wine on their stupid blonde hair whenever you want. Why would I want to do that? That's cruel. Because they deserve it. I don't believe that they do. Why is that? Because evil will only produce more evil. Hmm. Too good. Unless you cut evil's head off, then it's gone. Thank you. He's the truth. Too pure. So maybe you drown him in vats of wine when you take over. What? No, I would never. Damn. I so would. Young. Yes. Look, maybe my flights of fancy take me a little out of the normal realm, but we're going to beat this test, and you're never going to be treated like that again. And I'll make sure of that, okay? Okay. All right. She kind of, like, finished just wiping him off and got, mm -hmm. got him a new shirt and everything. And at that, Victor walks up. Hey, everything okay? Yeah, we're great. All right, let's 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 go back, because I think Wu is about to start a bit more of an issue, but we'll see. Oh, it's here. <sighs> well, it's to be expected at this point. Yeah. Um, by the time you all walk back into the banquet hall, that's when the two of them were, like, really, really close, just kind of staring each other down. You see him do the wine thing and then walk back to his chair. And and Eden is, you know, normally she's a lot more casual, but in like this setting, like you've never seen her quite this like composed and like proper. She just with Siliong mm -hmm. on one arm and Victor on the other walks back in the room and proceeds to go about sitting back down right. and making sure Siliong is okay. And she shoots a look down the table, but not at anyone in particular, but just keeping an eye on the situation. And like, if, if Bo moves again, she's intercepting him 100%. He's, he's like in his mom's lap right now. He's like, you know, he's like 13, so he's huge, but she's just cradling him. <laughs> Doesn't matter. If, if he makes a move towards Siliong, Eden is intercepting. She is on guard. All right. I believe I wanted anything to do with this crazy family. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Laura. 
y yeah, yeah. My team might need a scout in the near future. You up for the task? <laughs> uh, your team's pretty nice. We'll see. So, if I'm unable to uh, provide scout duties for my team, would you be okay with helping them? Please? Uh, for a time. Well, as long as we're here in this wonderful mansion, at least. Of course. Counting on you. Yeah. And with that, Lady S Lord Signe, she's gonna have my head cut off, stands up and then hits the wine glass. It is now time for the ball. And the tables start getting moved aside. This will be brief. Uh, everyone starts gathering in a circle. And Eden, you notice that Bill A. Bartimus II has walked up behind you. You have spunk. Oh, do I, sir? He's kind of just looking at you. What brings you over this way? We do offer. Hmm. Would you like a dance? Ew. I'm afraid my first dance has already been claimed, but hmm. maybe later tonight. I will return. He kind of just nods and then leaves. She equally bows back. At this point, Lord Signe says, My daughter Astrid, it is tradition in the Lindquist family for when we hold the ball that our daughter choose the suitor that she would like to dance with. Astrid. Astrid, in her, her revealing dress, walks forward slowly looks around the room as if she's looking at other people, but then she just returns to your gaze, John, and slowly <laughs> walks towards you. And Shion's eyes kind of just bug out, and she's very <laughs> in leaf, just kind of, just like a little inhale. Didn't know that Shion was the jealous type. Love it. <laughs> Me more. <laughs> uh, it's like, well, <laughs> I whispered to John, listen, this dinner, it has, it has not gone well. We may oh, want to it. consider actually dancing. No, dance, dance like you like to piss off. You know that, uh, that, the uh, choice. meet the parents shit with the, you know? I'm, I'm watching you, John. Watch the choice you. is <laughs> ultimately yours, though. She's holding her hand out to you, John. It's your, it's your, time. It's your time. John, take one My for the team, team, good buddy. Has done a lot of crazy shit tonight, for lack of a better term. And I'd like to apologize for most of it but I want to make myself very clear. <laughs> I'm not dancing with you. Do you, do you, do you Go find you someone else that's willing to hold on to you, you disgusting leech. What are you doing, bro? And then he sits right back down. Eden grabs Victor's hand and squeezes it really hard, like, oh! Yeah, so we, let's get an escape strategy going, bro. We gotta get out. It's moments like <laughs> these where I wish Brack would, like, partake in situations like this. <laughs> just... You disgusting. Uh, you I look over at Brack and, like, grab, grab as many devil tags as you can. We gotta go. <laughs> Brack is already ahead of him. He's stuffing them in, like, his suit jacket <laughs> and pockets and everything. He's just getting ready. Oh, devil eggs and pockets, no! Her, her eyes grow wide and her smile fades, but so Victor squeezes your hand, Eden, but he instantly lets go as he does so. Uh, I would like to uh, ask for the dance. We some coons have sent. Eden's ears turn red, but she is keeping a very straight face. I... Uh... I let out a sigh of relief as I'm putting deviled eggs back on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Astrid looks between the two of them. You can tell she's very, her face is all red. And Lord Signe is just like, you know, about to say something. But then Astrid says, no, mother, I wanted to dance with this one instead. And she walks over to Victor. She puts his hand on her waist, but is staring at Jong as they start to dance. I'll make this man jealous, man. It ain't gonna work. He has no. <laughs> she's sick. And she, her, she's trying to kind of like lean in close to Victor, and he's kind of like, you know, kind of trying to keep a little bit of distance between them as they, as they start to dance. 
and they're dancing around the room. And, uh... <laughs> everyone's just kind of in shock at this point. But slowly, people start going onto the dance floor, following them. Oh, I'm so relieved. That could have been worse. It's the one possibly good thing that happened to this entire arrangement. Oh, there's more good things to happen, my boy. Just watch. <laughs> Just watch. Uh, as I say that, I approach, I approach Lord Signa. My lord. <laughs> oh I've no! Been, I've been told that it's customary for the lord of the house to have a dance with the champion after a successful victory. Might I indulge in that tradition? Roll persuasion. <laughs> Oh my god. god. Any other point in time, you might have been After able to get it, but now. It I don't know. Who's that? He didn't just threaten half her family. Let's go. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> What's my preparation? I think this is a good role regardless, but let me just make sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 19. 19. We can All right, cool. She's staring at you for a second. And. <laughs> I forgot to mention this because he's so forgettable, but her husband was also at the table. Uh, oh. Lord Heaven in the second. Uh, I give him a nice nod, you know, a courteous nod as I approach. Uh, he kind of, uh, and then she says, "It'll be my pleasure," and she walks onto the dance floor with you. And <clears throat> Heaven just kind of clears his throat. <clears> throat> Roll performance for me as you're dancing. Remember what I taught you, Wu. You didn't teach me anything about how to get my feet stepped on. <laughs> he probably knows how to dance harder than Flux Falk, okay? Oh, uh, no, it was a 19. I thought it was a 20. Okay. I'm, I'm rolling well today, though. Yeah, you are. What's my performance? Plus three, man. so 22. Oh, damn. The, the two of show. you are dancing so elegantly. I mean, it's, like, beautiful to watch. Uh, Victor and Astrid, I mean, it's passable. It's passable. And, uh... Yeah, she's just staring at you as you're making the movements across the dance floor. Ooh. Um, Xion walks up to you, Jong. Hey. And she punches you as hard as she can in your back. Oh. Ooh. Ow. She is the jealous type. Do I get the pleasure of knowing what the hell that was for? I understand she's a pig, but next time don't put our team in danger, okay? Oh, Nama. Wait, I'm sorry, you wanted me to dance with her? Never mind. Oh, Nama. Never mind. And she walks away. Oh, he just showed everything. Bro. She's complicated. Got it. Damn, man. You fucking up, John. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> Leaf just kind of looking around. Which one? Yeah, which oh, one? Yeah. Uh, Nama Leaf. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, and she walks up to you, Eden. Mm. Can I have the pleasure of this dance? Absolutely. And the two of you start dancing out on the dance floor. And I, I shoot, I look over to Brack, like, go stay with Silly Ong. <laughs> And I got right it. when you right when you do that, Laura walks up to you, Brack. Hey, you wanna go dance? I have a better idea, Laura. Why don't you and Sil Young dance? Oh, sure. And Sil Young says, No, no, please, I, I can't dance. Sil Young, Sil Young, Sil Young. No, I, I cut can't. loose, have a little bit of fun. Um, don't worry about it. And this way you'll be safer on the floor than you would be. Not I'm on the floor. Trying to say that he's blind, Brack. It, you don't need to have eyes to dance. You got to just feel the music. Come on, man. <laughs> I, I'll I'll help him. This is Laura. Uh, let's see. Um, it's passable, but he's definitely struggling quite a bit. Eden, could you roll actually performance? Yeah. That's oh, a natural twenty. <laughs> hey. You were practicing all last night. I mean, you're you're busting out all the moves. <laughs> Leaf is just trying to keep up, but she's doing pretty good as well. Eden keeps Leaf on like the tops of her shoes so she can just stay fluidly with her the whole time. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Sure, sure. <laughs> and at this point, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Oh. And it's Bill A. Bartimus the second. May I have oh, this dance? He came back for his dance. Oh shit, he came to collect. <sighs> My pleasure, sir. Leaf, go back to Woo. Uh, okay. 
and he starts dancing with you very gracefully. Mm-hmm. As gracefully as a vulture. Um, <laughs> Ew. As a vulture. Do you need me to roll again? staring at you. No, you're fine. Okay. You're quite a good dancer. Why, thank you, sir. This man's father is so Nothing cracks won't fix. <laughs> Which family are you from? I'm not from a family, sir. Everyone's from a family. <laughs> and I can tell that your dancing is quite unique. Just something I liked when I was younger. I studied all forms. Mm. And she switches very immediately to like another well-known like house dance style. You know, the Bartimus family, we do deal with elixirs, we call them. If you ever have need of my services, we'd be more than happy to provide them to a regular such as yourself. Are you asking to sponsor me, sir? We do not sponsor regulars. However, because of the failure of a son that disgraced my family, I'm having to take certain measures to restore some of our wealth. Hmm. I'm so sorry to hear that. And the two of you keep dancing and then just kind of making small talk. Um, everyone else? Mm, can I leave my dance? She oh. grips you As... tight. Oh. Oh, oh, you waited for the night, buddy. <laughs> yeah. can, I, can I at least glance over at Laura like I'm interested? Yeah, you see her <laughs> trying to help so young. Long she's not looking, looking she's not looking at you. Uh, I blew it. <laughs> <laughs> now who's fucking up? <laughs> now <laughs> Damien, what are you doing? Uh I am trying to figure out how we can get something good to come out of this. So as you're figuring that out, Mila starts to approach oh, you. Oh boy. Oh shit, Brack, hide me. <laughs> Brock is over by the, the 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 table, just getting more deviled eggs, and he's also <laughs> eating from his reserves that's in his pocket, at with like a with like a a big pitcher of punch in his eating left hand, the... drinking while he's eating. Why are you eating from the reserves when they're in front of you, though? Because I have both. I want both. <laughs> no, 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 no. At this time, she approaches you, sir. May I <clears> this <throat> dance? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> she takes your hand and leads I you mean, out. I mean, if you've got floor. nothing better to do, roll performance with disadvantage. <laughs> oh! I say to Damien with my mouth full. Fuck, 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 fuck. I tell <laughs> you. Those are both pretty good. So sixteen. Oh wow! Yeah, I got Despite your report. nerves, you 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 clutch through it. Uh, and and she is dancing. You you. <laughs> there you go. She's dancing very gracefully. Mila is. Mm. That's a funny getup you have. <laughs> Damn. Yes, yeah, that's, that, that's what I was going for. Hilarious. Not because I thought it was cool or anything. She's just looking at you. Have we met before? I, um, I know who you are. Really? I'm familiar with your work. Yeah. Thank you. That's Jan Miller. Nice the great scion of the 21st floor. And what do they say about me in public? Good things. Mostly good things. Hmm. I'm... Sorry, I'm just scared, mostly. Of what? Of you. She slowly starts, she slows down and looks at you. I'm sorry for what I did to you. But Always it is best around. that you don't ask again. So you did know. Are we clear? Damn I know frog. that. Oh, shit. I know that you would never tell me. 
but I have ways of making people talk now. I'm more powerful than I was back then. I can take that information whenever I want. And you and no one else can stop me. Stay away now, from my family. And you feel her hands on you slightly get a little warm. I wasn't... I wasn't going to do anything today. I swear. And I know that... I know that you're only doing best for your family. But you have to understand my position. I have no other choice, no other avenue. I'm desperate. You of all people should understand that. I'm sorry about your father. I wish I could help you. Is he dead? She pauses. Same as before. I'm going to leave you now. I hope we don't meet again, but I do wish you well. I don't know what I should do. I really don't. Forget about your dad. Oh, that's your easy friends, for you to say. Your friends are all very kind. Follow them. That's what I would say. And she lets go of you and then gives a little bow. Take care, Damien. And then she starts to walk away. And I leave. I just get as far away as I can from there. All right. The night goes on, and I'm going to say Victor ends up interrupting Bill A. Bartimus II to dance with you, Eden. And oh, good. <laughs> and Astrid's kind of looking around, but overall, any last minute dance requests? Woo? I really want to dance with Laura and stop dancing with this witch, but if it's not going to happen, it's not nope. going to happen. Nope, <laughs> not letting that happen. Uh, and there's a few times where he <laughs> where Heminin kind of taps, but she just ignores him and continues to dance with you. Oof. Oh, Damn. Everyone's losing. Uh, she got a bad for you, woo. No. <laughs> so when Victor can finally I, okay, comes okay, in. Okay, okay, can I, can I roll like, um... <laughs> so yeah. bad, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> she got my lord's touch. You can't, you can't loosen that grip. It is so here, dude. Can I, <sighs> bro? You may, you've been making this bed since we got here. You can got I roll persuasion down. to just like somehow convince Laura without words that like I'm not into this. I just need her to know that this isn't what, what I'm about. You, know? you gotta do it with body language, man. You gotta look dead on the inside. Why should you? She dragging you around the floor. She's I thought it was gonna be one dead. She's not really letting you. No. Oh my god, yeah. I hate it here. Leave. The night continues to Order go 77. on. Order seventy seven. The night continues to go on, dance is being interchanged, but eventually the ball does end and everyone is going oh, to, to do back. something. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, so when Victor finally gets to Eden, she puts on a show. She goes like full oh, okay. tango, almost takes over the entire dance floor with him and okay. puts on a big show. And like she's yes. danced like you've never like none of no one has ever seen her dance before. Okay. Okay. And he's trying his best to follow, uh, to keeping up very well. Mm -hmm. And mm. then when she gets done with that, she like does a polite curtsy to Victor and then walks straight over to Leaf. Not Little Leaf. Yes, 
Fire Emblem Leaf. LL. 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 Double L. No cool J. All the L's. Sir, I've noticed you haven't danced tonight. It is a hero's job to protect his family. I literally hate this guy. <laughs> is it a hero's job to protect his moms too? Are you gonna turn <clears throat> me down for a <laughs> You can't get out of it. <laughs> I'm afraid I must decline, he bows to you. But I appreciate the offer. That's such a shame. And she just lightly traces a finger over the top of his armor and then just sashays away. Victor kind of like gives you a look. What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Victor, Victor thought he was the, the one. <laughs> Aiden rejoins Victor and like takes his arm and she's like, we're trying to make something good out of this. We don't need him mad at us. Yeah. Mr. Mr. I dr danced with like. I saved our lives. Life. Yeah, yeah, and I'm trying did. to do the same thing. There was no reason to. Okay. Whatever. He's blushing. It he's worked. Not, he's literally not. Okay. Yes, me. He's more into woo than he is to you. But, but I, can I, yeah. Can I squeeze his mom while he <laughs> well, watches, bro? All right. Well, the only way, the only way, woo can get out of the dance with the mom is if he dances with Leaf. <laughs> I just want, I just want to, I just want to squeeze his mom while he's watching. You know, just, just tight. He wants you to do that, though. He's been trying to get you to get <laughs> let him. Let him watch. Let him watch. <laughs> let him watch. He sees and, and just smiles. The pace at which he's sick, bro. He the has pace a problem. Which we drip between trying to amend and make good bonds and violently attacking passive aggressively this entire family is astounding. We are bouncing between many things today. That's because lust is a powerful drug, man. Like they don't care. <laughs> sure, you tried to kill us. Oh, oh man. Oh, you want to do what? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. So I'm gonna say though the night does wind down, and Lord Signe says, That was a wonderful evening. I almost worried that it would have been spoiled. And she looks at you, Eden. But it's wonderful to know that our guests have such wonderful taste. The yeah. test begins tomorrow. Please be prepared. Head back to your rooms, please. Not even a hint tonight? My lord. High table talk is um is room service still on the uh, on the table? <laughs> nope. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and Brock Shion Shion starts to leave. But one more thing. And all the Linquist family is watching you all, and she says Best of luck. You all head back towards your rooms, say your goodbyes to one another. Victor gives you a tight hug, Eden. We got this. Of course we do. When don't we? <laughs> <laughs> they don't know who they're messing with. Not one compliment on my outfit tonight. I'm so sad. But okay. Mm. Oh, he in the doghouse, bro. Oh, <laughs> she mm -hmm. like lightly God, punches mm -hmm. him and walks through the oh, the, the barrier. God, he messed up. All right, he walks back. Uh, before before we all separate, uh, Brad goes over to Wu. Uh, he he says to him, "I seen the way that you and uh." My lord, we're dancing Brad, out on the floor all night. Brad, please don't. Just don't. No, 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 no. I'm not saying anything, but she did that in front of her. I don't care husband. about her. Don't, just tell, <laughs> just tell, can you tell Laura that that doesn't mean anything? Don't worry. I will, I will tell Laura if you go and take one for the team. What is that supposed to mean? I need you to go to my lord and, um, Brack, are you trying, trying to, to find kick a way out? Brack doesn't know the meaning of that word. Like, I don't, I don't get it. But what I'm trying to say is, I know that there are affections that certain people have with other people, and I need you to go do that with her. Leaf. Leaf isn't Leaf. here right now. And it's just me and you. <laughs> I need you, you to go do that <laughs> so that we can have an easier time on this test. 
I will do what you want me to do if you convince Laura that we should have a date. I promise you, Scout's honor. On Brack the Third's I, honor. I shake Brack the Third. <laughs> all right, you all head back towards your rooms then. But before you go to your room, Jong, Shion says, Good luck tomorrow. Yeah, same to you. And she looks like she's going to say something else, but then just walks back to her room. And, and John he, also kind of, yeah, like, he, he does the same thing. He's like, yeah. pauses, and he was about to say something, yeah. but he heads back to his room. Okay. You head back to your rooms. Shion says nothing to you, Eden. And yeah. I'm going to say that it's about 10 p.m. Very last minute things to do in the room. Last tiny things. Nothing? We're good? Okay. Oh, hold up, hold up. Brack yeah. says to Laura, Laura, uh, thank you so much for dancing with So Young. And uh, Wu wanted me to relay a message to you as well. He wanted to let you know that uh, he he cares about you deeply. No, sm no smoother than that, Brack. No, what are you talking about? He, and he cares about me deeply. He cares oh. about you. He cares about... See, Brack doesn't know these words. <laughs> <laughs> he cares about you in such a way that he wants to continue talking with you. And that what happened with Malor tonight wasn't anything. Huh. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. Have a yes, good all sleep. The power now. <laughs> 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 you all head to your beds. Preparing for a wonderful Man. sleep. The beds are just welcoming you in. You're taking off all, you know, you're, you're back to your regular outfits. But as soon as you start to drift off to sleep, suddenly you hear this very loud noise, like a huge snap, a boom that goes off in each of your rooms. Huh? Eden is up, bow in hand, quiver already on, ready to go. Just instantly. Like she'd done that a million times. Brad it's gets up. so loud that it wakes all of you up instantly. Go ahead. Brad gets up slowly, looks around to try to figure out where the boom came from as he's wiping the crust from his eyes. Looks over at Sil Young and uh, Laura. He sees that they're getting up too and he's just thinking to himself, what the hell was that? Still Young says, oh no, it started. What started? And you hear a voice. You can't tell where it's coming from, but you hear this announcer voice. Welcome, regulars! Oh. It is time for the House Lindquist Special Test! I'm Zojack, and I'll be happily casting this game. Oh, Jack, do you like this here? If you may all please look at your doors and tsh, a spotlight shines upon something posted on the door. Please look at my screen. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh, we playing chess, not checkers. Okay. Oh, this is even worse. The House Lindquist Challenge! And with that, we're going to end today's no! episode. No, it's okay. I have this. Coming. I have a pair. this board. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Excellent. So we, now it's just going to be me with the trolley day fucking board. <laughs> like, like <laughs> yarn connecting everyone yeah. to try to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I expect this next week then. <laughs> yeah, yes. Take off his nightcap and his night mask. <laughs> Job, it's time. It's time to do. Great episode, do, do, everybody. Do, 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 do. <laughs> we gotta have the reference there. Thank you so I much for watching. One... I okay. Go ahead. I do want to say something. I say my, my one retcon thing I forgot to say was when she was watching Victor dance with. Uh, Eden was watching Victor dance with Astrid. She yeah. secretly wished Scopio was there because she would have uh, taken him sure. to the dance of floor. Of course, of course. 
Um, shout to Christian. Cat. I love you. <laughs> yes. Well, as long as your dad thinks Scorpio is um, in your heart. Uh, also, shout out to Christian, who's member for three months. Yeah. yeah. Shout out. Go, Christian. Um, I do want to say, I want to reiterate, uh, please join the Discord if you would like to, you know, post your memes in fan art. I do want to say once again that please read the rules. I know it's been kind of crazy lately in the server, and a lot of it is coming from people who are joining for Towers and Gods content. And I would like to say that if you're joining, please read all of the rules. Uh, it's a PG server, so nothing that is breaking any of that 18 and up uh, code that we have there. So no role playing once again, no uh, sexual content or anything like that. Uh, the server should be a place where we just have fun with Towers and Gods. So please read the rules. Uh, we'd love to have you if you do so. Uh, so keep that in mind, please. Um, but uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Brad, did you want to say something? Oh, uh, I was I was going to say that, um, you know, for memes next week, please, somebody, anybody, I need that Wu and um, Leaf, Big Leaf, Double L. I need that. I need him pouring the wine on his face and Wu just looking at him intimately, just <laughs> looking at him. I need oh, that. No. I need what that. that <laughs> Nobody needs that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I need, and I need, I need Damien and oh. Vamp Gear. Uh, uh, dancing with uh, Miller and Miller just with the fire hand on him, and Damien just like, hot, 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 hot. I need that one. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I need that one too. The fan art request. Oh man, I need oh, both man. though. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if anyone's up to the task. Very, that was a very traumatizing moment for me. It's oh, okay no. though. It's, it's okay though. We go. We go. We gonna make it history though. We we need it. We need just the yeah. picture of it. You know. <laughs> illustrated uh but yes thank you all for watching we'll see you next friday for the next episode of towers and gods new artwork new test we'll see how it goes take care everybody we will see you then bye, mm -hmm. bye. who will okay, live and who will die <laughs> <laughs> i hope that got it i hope that got it <laughs>